What's up and welcome to the Indie Credible Podcast, episode 28, a weekly podcast where we go through the world of indie gaming and drink beer as you guys just perfectly yes, demonstrate yes. for me. Uh, I am Lewis Woodhouse, your kind of host, uh, and with me this week, or as always, me, is the lovely Dom. Uh, d- Do- Dom? That sounded like Dom. Dom know, or Tom? I fucked it up. You can't even say your own Dom. name. Dom or Tom? It's Tom. Tom. It's Tom. God, that was embarrassing. Tom. Luckily, it'll be up on the bottom of the screen now, so people will know. Yeah, just the word Tom. That's like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just. It won't be any. Just say Tom there. Just can, to help can you. Everyone's just say Tom. Can we spell it out, boys and girls? T- oh, no. No, not Ma. Oh. Why are you doing these? Because all this adds to my editing time. I yeah, have to keep that, adding these. Why are you doing it? Doing it? <laughs> oh Fuck's sake. That's the I'm not going to give him the Brian's last week. So <laughs> yeah. you I'm not going to give him a chance to say his name now, and it is Dan. Hey. Um, I, I wish you did that for me. I wouldn't have fucked oh. it up. Yeah, I need to. Know. <laughs> yeah, I need someone to. else says your name. You're um, all right. So yeah, as I said, we are a weekly podcast where we go through the world of indie gaming. Uh, we talk about what we've been playing, uh, which is normally at least one of us has played a new indie game out, so we can share our thoughts on that. Uh, we go through the week indie game news and this week we've got a shit ton of indie game news and then we go through topics and this week it's quite nice because we've got a community topic by a community topic I mean we've had a listener email in and uh, and share us his thoughts and feedback and give us a question now you can do that as well by emailing podcast at indie no I completely got that wrong by emailing Tom no. doesn't know his name I was right I was right <laughs> I had no idea what the I was right let's start again <laughs> <laughs> well, what's up guys welcome to the Indie Channel Podcast I'm your host uh. Tom God. <laughs> and with me as always is Gary and Steve. <laughs> I did get it right. Podcast at indie-credible.com. Um, and then, yeah, we'll hopefully read your question out on air or on the show. Uh, patrons, I will warn now, patrons do get president and get priority over everyone's uh, email. So if a patron emails in, your question or feedback will guaranteed to be read out. Tom is now stripping for us. Stripping. Cue the music. Na, 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 na. Really oh, hard. no, no. <laughs> Hang on. Did your hoodie have the same picture as your t-shirt? Did it, it did, didn't your it? hoodie has exactly the same picture as your t-shirt, yes? That is just... <laughs> what? That is fucking hilarious. <laughs> How? I've never seen that before. No, I've, I've never ne- seen anyone wear the same picture on their hoodie. I mean, that's good observation t-shirt. from you. I would not notice it. you got to, you know, just get on my level, guys. Get on, get on your level. Do you yeah. just have one set of clothes and you like Einstein? I, I have several I just several realised this is an indie game podcast t-shirts. and I keep going off one. Sorry. Let's go. Quite all right. Um, yeah, so uh, as I said, patrons do get president and patrons also get some of the perks. Our new thing, and I apologise for anyone who listened last week, we have actually changed the way Patreon rewards are going to uh, work and I'm only going to go through it really quickly. Um, so patrons, we originally we said we're going to get them early. That's scrapped. You don't get them early. You get them at the same time as everyone else. But what patrons do get is they get a pre-show. I'm itching. It's not <laughs> I thought you were just trying to They get a pre-show class. and they get a, hey. and they get a post-show. Uh, how long that pre-show and post-show is, we don't know. We've just done a, a pre-show where we just talk about general crap, really. We actually yeah. just spoke about... Getting, Alcohol, getting drunk and drinking beer, beer really. Beer, yeah, yeah, yeah beer um, and that is about 10 minutes long, and then there'll be a little bit of post show that. But that will only ever release on Patreon, and that only costs you a dollar. That's not part of the free dollar video tier. That's one dollar that will get you access to the pre and post show of the weekly podcast. Enough Patreon plugin. Uh, this is obviously, if you're watching this, brilliant. You're on YouTube. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, what you're doing, subscribe. Um, and before we go on to <laughs> what we've been playing, today. this I'm is also available. Interactive with the audience. Right? This is also available uh, for audio. Audio. You can get this on SoundCloud and iTunes, and I think it's called Player FM. People always comment to me on it, and I'm like, I've never heard of that one. Yeah, I always use iTunes. Yeah, I'm on iTunes. Um, But we're on quite a few, uh, and the links to those are in the descriptions below. So I appreciate, I'm a big podcast listener. I think all of us listen to some form of podcast, and always watching a video version is, it can be hard sometimes because it's a commitment sitting down and watching it. So if you can't, why don't you subscribe at links below? Then you always got it there. I listen to majority of my podcast through audio. When I've got a chance, I will watch the video because it's It's good good background stuff. It's a bit more interactive. Doing something else. Yeah, no, definitely. Watch it as you go. Definitely, yeah. Uh, I do and that then, with most of my podcasts, actually. Yeah, so I'll listen to the audio, and then I'll go back and watch the episodes I really liked. Yeah, oh, I'll, I'll do Just that. in the background while I'm writing up reviews or doing bits like that. Or um, <laughs> iTunes, <laughs> iTunes do a thing where you can mark an episode, like you can put a little marker on. Right. So what I do is, normally on the kind of funny videos, if they like talk about something that's clearly more of a visual thing on the thingy, I'll mark it and then when I'm free I'll be like oh I'll check this out on YouTube and I'll yeah. just skip forward to oh, that part cool. there uh, and you will notice as of this week I'm putting time codes in as well so if you want to skip through by all means do so if there's a part that you want to go oh actually I'm going to watch the end bit just feed that bit there's nothing wrong with that you can skip through and just watch that bit there if you want obviously we prefer you watch the whole thing um, 
as I said, if you don't support it, okay, oh, we're going on there, aren't we? Last little bit. <laughs> Last little bit. Obviously, we like you supporting us on Patreon, but if you can't support us on Patreon, there's nothing wrong with that. There's lots of other ways you can support us. You can. Um, the biggest thing you can do, actually, is comment on our podcast on audio services, especially iTunes. iTunes really work on a uh, feedback and a and a rating system. That yeah. Giving us ratings really bumps us up there, and we want to be... We want to get more listeners. We want to grow as a podcast, as a video, and as a company of Indie Credible. And that's it. I'm going to shut up about the plug-in, the, the housekeeping, all that crap. Because let's be honest, it's fucking boring. It is fucking boring. It's the people are skipping yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's fucking boring. It's what we need to do because we'd like some money. Yeah. Please, to be honest, it's dull as shit give us to money. talk about. It is. So apologies. Anyway, let's go on to the best part. What, or games. one of the best part. What we've been playing. Um... I'm not gonna lie, I've had a fucking bonkers week in terms of what I played. <laughs> like, what a surprise! Yeah. Mental, Sound yeah. Like you. But I'll go through that in more detail at the end of why I've had such a bon- bonkers week. Uh, oh, interesting. It's not, well, not at the end, sorry, at the end of this section. Oh, well, is this that uh, Homes well, Under well, the Hammer where yeah. you tease us with the yeah. find out later why this home was sold and then we'll play and the goes music back and, and it's and fucking we'll, shit. Yeah, it's You're like, what? what? Why did I stay here for that? We should have um, 18 ad rolls on this video. We should, yeah. <laughs> so, Tom. Hello. You haven't played anything this weekend, have you? I've played two games. Ooh, yeah. what have Ooh. you played? Oh, I don't even know one of them. Yeah, one of them is The Division, which I played for a bit. Was that yeah. on my recommendation of going back? Partially, yeah. Partially. Now, obviously, in the game thing, and we'll talk more about it on the Not So, Not so yeah. Show. But go is... on, quick one, two minutes on your thoughts of The Division 2018. Uh, I still enjoy it. I, I enjoyed it back when it, everyone said it was bad. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I still really enjoy it, and I'm hoping to start playing with some people. It's, it's been you on PS4 yeah. Yeah, yeah a lot of YouTube videos are going on a feature at the moment of like the biggest comeback in gaming huh. in terms of how yeah. much people didn't like it and then so you you said earlier you haven't got the season pass I have not, so you're missing right. out on quite a lot whereas I went in with the season and I was just biggest thing I found is it's fucking intimidating now because people are so high level people know what's going on and normally in those games of service you're kind of giving it on increment basis, aren't you? Like, mm. here's a new mechanic to learn. Here's a new mode to learn. Yeah. Here's this. Like, I went in and I was like, okay, there's like four new modes. There's like all this new gear. There's a new section to the map. There's new sections to the dark zone that I can't go anywhere near because I'm not high enough leveled. And I was like, okay. I put it down because I was like, I, I want to play this more, but I need to, I need to kind of have time. Does it have a battle royale mode now? No, because uh, yes. I tell does you it? what, the yeah. division would be no, it does. amazing. It does. It had it before PUBG came out. I don't remember that. Um, I remember that. Yeah, but it's called Survival. So you start at the yeah. Edge I of remember the, map. the storms coming out, but well, that was Team Survival, wasn't it? No. It's, so, it's, so this is this is the thing where you, where you, you have haven't got it because it's season pass. Yeah, yeah. So it's the you start at the edges map and you start with nothing basically, like really minimum clothing, you survive no survive. weapons, and you have to progress forward to get warmer clothing. And oh, to get no, weapons, no, and then you have yeah, to get to the supply drop like in the middle. Going on, yeah, right? yeah. So I yeah. think it's only twenty player, but it it was uh, come out. The issue was, it came out I think six seven months after the launch, so it lost probably eight oh, players. Player base, base. Player base and yeah. people who went back were like, "Oh my god, this is fucking amazing!" But not enough people went yeah. back to it. Um, I've played like I want to say two games on that when it first launched. And was like, this is really cool, but I didn't have time to put yeah. more in. I think it was pretty much launched when the website just started. So, so what was your second game then? My second game was a Telltale game. It was Telltale's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> oh no, I saw it. that you've been playing that. Yeah. Is I it was... any good? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, okay. I've still never played a Telltale game to this date. Well, that's your mistake. because they I have... have just downloaded the Batman Season 1. I'm enjoying that's that. that. That's what you're though, starting with. Though I will say, I've that has really one good. of the funniest glitches I've seen in a game in ages. What's this? Oh, really? There is this wonderful point at the end of episode one that I was playing where Batman is talking to someone. I think it's Harvey Dent. I can't remember. His, but his neck starts to spin. Oh my God. His head did all <laughs> so he's just going... the Exorcist 360 <laughs> and then went backwards. <laughs> and I'm sat there going, <laughs> what the fuck's happening with Batman? I honestly was like, I am capping myself right now. Did you press the share button? Did it? No. Oh, well, come on. No. You can show the world that. I glitch. don't understand how that shit works. You if press it's share, it's and really easy. Have actually, it. yeah. yeah, no, I don't. See, if I've got it hooked up to my Mac or things like that, yeah, I can. If you press share, as soon as it comes to is these it other like, bits, is it like previously just... you can choose. I think there's, you can choose like the last 10 seconds of video. Oh, yeah, I think so. It's, it, is it only 10 seconds? Well, it, it lasted yeah. for a minute. It was basically it was records, brilliant. I think, the past half hour. Oh, is it? Actually, Ooh, I, think it I think it records your entire game session in half hour increments. Mm. Could be completely wrong with that, but I think that's what it is. And you, you edit it yourself in the PlayStation mm. to the clip you want. 
and yeah. then it just goes up on the place. Yeah, yeah. I've got a few. Okay. I've got a few. Uh, oh, no, and you can choose to share it direct to YouTube. You can share YouTube on Twitch. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not that um, it's can, pretty cool. You can press share to go to Twitch. So the, I mean, Tower Tower, uh, as much as we go, oh, it's triple. It's not triple. They're independent. They are independent. Yeah. So yeah. it's hard because they've got names like Guardians of the Galaxy tied to them. It's yeah. hard to say they are. Um, so no, what, yeah, have you played got, all of it? All I've of played one. two episodes so far, and I've got to say it's probably one of the crappier Telltale games. Oh, right, okay. I have heard that. I think it's mostly sorry. Send back me on my lip. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's for you, Patreon guys. We'll cut that out on the full one. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to leave it in now <laughs> that's your picture I'm of just, money well spent I'm just going to leave it in now um, I think when you tie characters that you people know and love and uh, it's not a new story it's just Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. it makes it hard to have any stakes at all mm-hmm. because oh, okay. I mean it's not the films it's not the comics it looks very much like the films and it takes a lot from the films Right. but it, it's um, it's supposed to be it's own thing but it, it's sort of a bit... It's, it's in a weird limbo between being its own thing and being the films. Oh, right. It's a new story, but again, they're not going to kill off Star-Lord. Gamora isn't no. going to die. You know? So it's like, what, whatever I do has no impact. So um, that's sort of bugging me. It's just like, like, Tales of the Borderlands, on the other hand, all new characters. So yeah, so anything can happen. Then, yeah. It was like, what, you know, anything can happen. So like, if, if you want to play Guardians of the Galaxy, Telltale game, play Tales of the Borderlands instead. I didn't up. enjoy that. It's much better. I thought it was I've heard really Mitch you would fucking hate Guardians then because this is way yeah. worse so what's Batman like Batman's okay it's not brilliant I've downloaded it it's I've... got a scary neck scene the, the, <laughs> I mean I can't wait for the scary, scary neck, neck scene scary neck scene was my favourite <laughs> I think the reason I enjoyed it more was basically because I've been a fan of Batman since I was little yeah. right? you know Frank Miller and all of that lot who, mm. who brought my version of Batman to life yep and it's, it's where a lot of this comes from. Okay. There are lots of themes that are there. Also, there are lots of great voice actors involved with it that I, I really admire and like. And so you've just... There's a lot there. And there's a lot of bits where you feel like, as someone who's been brought up on Batman and knows a different Batman, there's insider knowledge you the can stuff. use. Okay. So the okay. first time you meet the Falcones, and that lot, and you did the Falcones, yeah. the Falcones are from something else. But... You're like, oh, I know who this person is. Oh, so so if re- I do this, I know this was happening. It almost rewards you for having Bit that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There are also some of the the choices you can make are very much. Oh, I remember it from that comic. I remember that issue. Oh, where so we how? Did this. So I could either choose to follow the comics or say, fuck that. I'm going to so go this it, way. So is it now? Is it a Batman game or is it a Bruce Wayne game? Batman, hopefully. No, but by that I mean my big my favourite thing about Batman comics have always been the the struggles that Bruce Wayne has between differentiating himself between being Batman and being Oh, Bruce you'll Wayne. like this game then. That's what that's, This isn't this is a detective game. This is what like. Batman as so I So I prefer the whole kind of when Bruce Wayne is Batman. I know these people can go, Well Bruce Wayne is Batman. But you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, when, yeah, I know what you mean. When Bruce Wayne is as Bruce Wayne he has to play him different than Batman, doesn't he? That's the whole point. Well, yeah, but well, maybe not. Yeah. The, the story is more has more emphasis on Bruce Wayne and his abilities instead of yeah. I'm Batman. I'm going to That's beat the shit out of yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. No, this is definitely more okay. the detective. I'm, side I'm looking forward to checking it out. Actually, so um, is, that's the thing, though. That's known characters. So, how yeah. does that feel when you're playing that? The stakes? Are there any stakes? Does it matter? Or yes. Or? Yeah. Because there is there's a story. If you've read Court of Owls. You'll know a lot mm. of the bits they're already speaking about, but if you haven't, you, you haven't read Court of Owls, read... go fucking read Court of Owls. Oh, it's brilliant! It's it's really good. Is, is One a, of my favourite Batman. Is this a sequel? Or... No, this no. is a new story. Okay, all right. Okay. It's a new story, but they, whoever's written it, obviously knows, knows their Batman. Lot, yeah. We should point out so that this is free at the moment on PlayStation. Yeah, yeah. The, the whole of season one, yeah, is first free. Five episodes. Um, so you could actually, basically, if you really like it, you go buy season two, and it'll cost you sixteen quid for two seasons, effectively, because you're getting. The yeah, I think, I think they're all fairly priced as well. Um, yeah, definitely. I'll also quick mention: I've not played it yet, and I'll hopefully have more thoughts on it next week. But Uncanny Valley is also free at the moment. Oh yeah, I game. saw that. Uh, it's a game I wanted to play a couple of about a year ago when it came out, but the website was just kind of growing, and I just busy with reviews, and it was a game I always wanted to play. I never kind of got around to. Um, so yeah, Uncanny Valley. It looks cool. It's like a pixelated detective. Quite. It looks quite dark. It looks like. Do you remember the Long Reach that we previewed? Yeah. yeah. It looks a lot like the Long Reach. Um, it's free. You should. Ha- you should have a look at it. It's free. Yeah. yeah. It's really nice pixel graphics on there. Did you play anything else? I've. Oh, I was him playing. I just yeah. Oh yeah, I knew Batman. Did you play Batman this week though? 
I did play Batman well, this there you week. Go. Yes, <laughs> but that is very true. Yeah. Did you play anything else this week? I played Smite this week, obviously. Yeah. Oh, which, which I still count as an indie game. Oh, I don't know. It's a Brighton based game. What they make you, a lot of money. It's Brighton based game. Oh, wait, do you know make a lot of money? It's got a battle royale mode. Yes. I didn't know I've not played it yet. I don't know. I wouldn't bother. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, I'm going to get back into Smite because now I'm. Well, I, talk about what you're thinking. I'm going to tell yeah. you why I'm going to get back into Smite. Because you've what got you're lots of time off. Yeah, you're not working yeah. the same way anymore. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Hence why I've smashed, <laughs> smashed games a whole load of games. Yeah. Um, this week has been a very different week for me because I played indie games in a different way. So usually we talk about you computer beat based. You beat it off and play them at the same time. Yeah, that's. I always do that anyway. What are you talking about? That's that the only way. Different way. Different way. Different way. Different way. You know, yeah. I lubed up always. That's why my left the hand wife is, comes in. What are you doing? My left hand is so soft, honestly. <laughs> when I, yeah, when I shake his hand for the first time. Oh, it's it, a beautiful it, moment. It was, it was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> do, you it, do you not think it was still sticky? Oh, it's uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I am, I am hiding. Okay, I think we should anyway, move on. Let's move on. So I've been playing indie games in a different way because, of course, I do a lot of board game bits. Yep. And I actually brought it along with me. Oh, what the fuck? Gifts. <laughs> this. Whoa. Is the indie I saw game you tweet. I played. This is Destiny Quest. Come on, now, look. Any, have a look. Anyone who's played a, one of the fighting fantasy books... We don't set out, young, but if you want to play a book <laughs> game... I am not... Game. Honestly, I am not sponsored by these guys at all. They've never they been in touch. They, no, no, I went and got that as a sort of... I want to see what this is like. Because they've just new, started... We need a new doorstop. <laughs> it's huge. I was going to say, it's a pretty hefty book, isn't it? Is, is it, is it a book? turn to page 86? Yes, look inside. Yeah, it's a la, turn la. to page... Now, what it is... Do you use one finger done, or two? Shut up for a minute. Two fingers. Turn. Shut, shut, shut up, right? <laughs> <laughs> shut your mouth. Excellent, excellent Lewis right. taming. Patreon, <laughs> at the moment, they have book four of this out. And I look online and I do a video every week where I talk this about the one. different ones. No, this is book three. What did you start with book one? Because uh, I couldn't get hold of book one. Are, are they canon? Are, are they... Um, it's, all, it's all one world. But you can New read them separately. So okay, it's a cool. different so story, but it's like all set in the same world. Anthology? Is that the right word? I guess. Anthology? So it's all set in the same universe, but like the Alien Anthology, they're not, yeah, they're not sequel movies. Alien 3 has fuck all to do with Alien 1. But uh, yeah, I don't even like to involve the other aliens. But it's all in the same world. Alien they're different things. Good. But in your fighting... Yes. No, it's not. Fighting fantasy books were always one dungeon. You go into a dungeon, you get from one side to the other. It wasn't always really a dungeon, but it was one little road through. This is a full D&D campaign. This takes you to villages where you can pick up bits, where you're not fighting monsters. You can choose where to you go. There are maps at the start where you're like, wow. you know what, I'm going to go to this area and explore here. And it's full dungeon. But it's also got two levels That's to it. Map. You've got Act 1, which is the map at the start, and Act 2 at the back. You have legendary monsters to fight. There are boss battles Venom. that work properly. These aren't just, oh, I'm going to roll the dice for a bit. They're real boss battles with full-on mechanics. So you need a dice? You need two dice, two D6, and a pencil. And um, you, you also, the writing in it's brilliant. This is, this, a, is this is for grown-ups. 13 quid. very cool. It's fucking brilliant. Yeah. Which is why <laughs> I saw it on Patreon and I was like, no, nah, this is going to be bollocks, isn't it? This is going to be another one of those, oh, look, out. we've done this. So I'm, like, like I'm going to buy it, yeah. check it out, and it's I've got uh, two more books to read in my... I'm reading the Sun Reach series that I spoke about before. I'm going to talk about it a lot more in what I loved about January, because mm. I fucking... That book has blown me away. It's only 108 pages. I just finished book one, and I was like, Whoa. when I finish the next two... Then, yeah, uh, I'll let uh, you borrow that. I might give it a go. But if, if, you're, if you want to play a fighting fantasy game, you're up to sponsoring bits, head over to Patreon. And sponsored Destiny Quest. I'll put a link to that the in the description. June C or something. Okay. Rated to the June C. I'll put oh, a link yeah. to that in the description um, below. So if you do want to yeah, go yeah, and yeah. check it out, then check, check it out. It out. Cool. And, and other than that, I've been playing Smite. I played like cool. six hours of Smite in a row. I saw you play, yeah, like on Wednesday. <laughs> when was, yeah, Wednesday. Yeah. Did you have a day off or something? No, I was supposed to be bloody working. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, I'll just play a game. It but Smite, it's six working. hours later. Smite, it's incredible. Incredible. Smite does that. Yeah. Um, and uh, what I'm hoping to do is our, our community is slowly building actually we've got some real nice people commenting on our stuff and yeah. emailing me and I want to get eventually I want to when we've got a bit more uh, interaction get like a Facebook page set up just for like community Gaming. so we can play games so we're going to be like we're going to play some smart who wants to come and play some smart with us and we're going to run the raid in Destiny we're gonna it's do the biggest this, issue yeah. so many games now have an emphasis on multiplayer aspects like yeah. for example Destiny and I, I still stand to it by this day I completely get why they don't have matchmaking in the raids because when I've matchmaking games in the past I've been put with some dicks <laughs> people who just leave and quit and I'm like really fucking hell so I get but but then again it does lock certain people out of experiencing the best content and I'd love to mm. get a community of let's be honest we're more we're 
I say middle aged men apart from this dick over here. Um, <laughs> but no, we He just looks middle aged. Yeah, and then hopefully people. <laughs> People who <laughs> people who people I'll who comment on our to use. <laughs> people who comment on the shows and people who um, who interact with us, I probably going to be similar age or similar mindset. Yeah, there, so it'll be nice to do that. Um, yeah, but Smite is a game that actually uh, I'll go into it now. If we can get five gonna, of us, the reason I'm going to be playing more Smite is yeah. because uh, I made the bold decision last year to basically put my fingers up to education and say fuck you. Um, bold decision. Yeah, I had a right shit time the last couple of weeks at a school I was working at nothing against the school uh, just certain hierarchy members who are probably watching now so fuck you um, <laughs> and uh, so I, I took oh, the, I'd be the nice and calm yeah. I took I took the bold, so I like the finger <laughs> I took the bold decision to just have my notes and, and, sit, and my wife Sarah was like what are you going to do I'm like I don't know you need to do something to get money and I was like yeah I, as far as I'm aware as far as I'm concerned I have enough and this sounds arrogant I have enough <laughs> shocker. Lewis, <laughs> Sandy Garrigan. Oh, what's going on? I have enough qualifications slash skills to do enough jobs to earn the same. Because you, you don't earn fortunes in education. No, and you do not. I've so this week I've earned pretty much the same as what I earned uh, full time education teaching one day and writing freelance, uh, which has meant I've put in so much work to the website and I have finished one, two, three, four. Four games and putting a lot of hours to other games. Um, and it's been a dream. So that's when we put more hours in Smite as of Wednesday. Please, Patreon, send us money so we can all do this. Yes, um, please. <laughs> so uh, that is a joy of supply teaching. It's, uh, this isn't a teaching podcast, but obviously there's not the guarantee of work. I mean, over the holidays, I'll lose money. But the benefit is, um, without going into detail, Sarah and I obviously did a car boot work. So we've got that coming in. And all. Yeah. It's risky what I'm doing. It's freelance work. I'm very much ad hoc paid on the go, but... After this week and what I've earned, I'm like, this is definitely the right decision so far. Um, anyway, so what I'll play this week, I'll run through what I played and then I'll go back on myself, okay? Because okay. two things I can't talk about. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep, yep. So I've played and finished Little Nightmares. I've played and finished Albert and Otto. I've played and finished the demo of Skell Attack. I played no, through the bait. <laughs> I played through pre-early access of a game called Battle Cursed. Can't say any more than that because it's embargoed. Um, I played and previewed Next Up Hero and I done played some more Farmer's Dynasty for the Let's Play. Uh, and I played and finished a game called The Station and that is literally all I can say on that because that is a heavy embargo and I'm probably going to hold off saying that I've played it. Um, but yeah. Well, well done. Here we go. Oh, well. <laughs> and we were going to be indie credible. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'll quickly go for them. Little Nightmares is a game I wanted to play last year. It's the oh, game. Do you remember the booth they brought out? It's at fucking EGX. awesome. Uh, it was amazing. Yeah, we, no, <laughs> no, you, you went there with the preview. Oh, it was so good. It was really cool. And we wanted to go play it, but it was a fucking massive. Queue. There was no was, way we could. We have didn't have a press it. point because it was Bandai Namco published it. Although oh. it's completely independently developed, it's very much an indie game. But it was published by Bandai Namco. Yeah. Um, it's fucking brilliant. It's the best horror game that I've played for a long time. I really want And it is fully fledged horror in a really cool way. It's very similar to Inside in terms of the kind of 3D uh, design character playing yes, through yeah, the 3D yeah. design worlds. Now, the difference to Inside is Inside is Inside is 2D side scroll in terms of everything's 3D, but you yeah. move it on a linear yeah. path. You, there's no depth. This has depth. Right. So this brings depth to level, so you can move around in these kind of 3D, small 3D environments, and some of them even require you to manipulate or kind of behind obstacles and things like that. It's fucking weird. So it starts off with, you, you're playing as this um, creature, not creature, this kid in yeah, a... So he plays a child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was a teacher, and, so, like, and this that's how he treated creature. <laughs> well, creatures. Okay. With little goblin thing. I say creature because it's never definitive what you're playing as, and there's certain things in the game early on that question what it is. Okay. Um, so you're, you're playing as this yellow-coated, what you can assume is a child, and um, you start in the weirdest... Of, you start in the weird... Like, what I love about it is... There is no tutorial. There's no prompt for controls. There's yeah. no prompt. There's there's no intro. It's just you wake up quivering in this corner of this dark room and you progress through. Uh, and it starts off with there's no... You get these hints of these kind of enemies or um, uh, uh, men, w weird guys with long arms in the background, but they don't see you. 
And as you progress, they come to the foreground and they become... It's a, it's a puzzle platformer. That's yeah. what a game yeah. is. And the puzzles are split into two sections. You've either got your environmental puzzles where you're moving parts of the environment to get up higher or things like that. Or you've got your stealth-based puzzles where you're trying to get past these guys that have got ridiculously long arms. They're blind, but they can smell and hear you. So what you've got to do is, if you are stand too close to them, they're like... And they really creepy, like, reach their arms out and they're, like, grabbing you. And they go, like... <laughs> and, like, pull you in a long arm. It's just so creepy. And as it... I don't want to spoil anything. As it progresses, it gets... Worse? Yeah, like, really <laughs> weird. Yeah. But it is... It, it wasn't scary. I mean, I played it at night. I played it on my own in the room with headphones on because that's how I like playing horror games because I'm weird. Um, but it's not like scary. It's never like, oh, I don't want to go around the next corner. I don't want to happen. It was just very cleverly done as a horror game. And it, it is a full It's very uncomfortable. It's, um, it's unsettling to play. Yeah. More, and more, it, more like, oh, it's, it's classic sort of like, like limbo. I mean, inside. Get used to seeing a little kid get killed a lot of times in some pretty grotesque ways. I'm used to that. Um, <laughs> don't ask why. Yeah. Um, uh, but no, it's, it's very fun. Um, Have you heard about the uh, new Paranormal Activity VR game? Yeah, I've oh, saw it. Everyone's oh, raving about yeah. that. Apparently. Really? Well, yeah. Apparently They're raving it's... about Paranormal Activity thing. Yeah. The VR game. The VR PS4. thing. Apparently it's... It's scarier than the Resi yeah. game. They're I watched saying it's a... Um, really, uh, there's a Let's Play on it yeah. where this guy like curls up in the corner and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> like screaming. Apparently I don't trust is... a lot of Let's Plays. Yeah, it, it, you, well, you, a lot of people like to have it up. Oh yeah, you're yeah. gonna get more views. Yeah, mm. yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. at least I didn't go to a suicide forest anyway. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 did you just hit the Logan Paul button? Yeah. That was just oh. just topical. That just was topical enough. Topical. <laughs> it was last week. Look at Lewis Hippen with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's just just on the verge um, there of being topical. But like on that, actually, that kind of leads in segue into oh, uh, into Little Nightmares. The third room you come across, this shows you how dark the game is. The third room you come across, you Logan go into this room. There the <laughs> you come into this room, and I was like, what is that? I look close to the TV. It's just these legs hanging from the ceiling. And, you're like, and the chair that's tipped to the side, and you're like, oh, that is fucking, that is on the nose. Like, that is on the nose. And it, it's that kind of real in your face, not holding any punches, that yeah. makes the game go on. And it's, it's on sale at the moment, in the January sale, that's why I played it. I got the deluxe edition, so I've got two pieces of DLC to play that I've not jumped into yet. Mm. Uh, so yeah, it's it's like uh, ten ten ninety nine I think for the deluxe or seven ninety nine eight quidish for the standard. But I really recommend it. Like that four so cheap three to four so hours. Well cheap. It, yeah. I, I recommend the the deluxe because you get two batches of DLC and I think the DLC is like an hour to two hours each. So you potentially can get like eight hours of game for a tenner eleven quid. And it's really it's good. It's really good, especially if you're a horror fan. Um, I also, so I finished Albert and Otto. I'm not going to go into it too much because the review's up on the site and on nice, YouTube. Don't see the review. Um, it, it, I gave it 6.7. It's Don't go see the review now. He's just <laughs> told you what it is. Yeah, no, no. You, I'm not going to go into detail too much of it. It's a really... So I, we spoke about this last week. This is episode one of uh, four parts, yeah? Yeah. The first two thirds of that game are eight... Eight and a half out of ten. They're amazing. Like really good puzzle designs, really atmospheric, really kind of the stories told through these pictures that you find, but the pictures are they 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 speak enough to tell you the main narrative of the game. The last third takes this really weird turn where it goes for like an action platforming route, it just doesn't fit in with the rest of the game. Right. It takes away from the the strength of the game is the puzzle designs, and it all of a sudden goes yeah, we're not going to do that puzzle design anymore. We're going to make that puzzle design into like fast-paced action platforming. The controls aren't strong enough to bring that in, and that's where it comes down. But to more, like I said, more information, check the review out now. It's only about four minutes long. Uh, I played a demo of Skeletak. Yeah, what, what, what? which is a game I told you about. You did, and I don't, know you, I don't know if you've seen the Let's Play. Uh, Dan gets a full plug in there with his website really? and everything. Yeah. Oh. Why the fuck? you do that man because <laughs> uh, I literally said that Dan told me ages ago to play this game I've been putting it off I and fucking loved it it was really good so Skeletak all of these yeah Skeletak what Dan spotted is, first. <laughs> I think the title of the video is Skeletak is a throwback to classic action platforming it really is because it is it's it like is. it plays through mini uh, dungeon rooms it's not like a big metrovania area it's like a no. mini dungeon yeah. rooms but the part the, the platforming is brings that kind of re retro puzzle feel yeah. where you're like okay I need to get across there I've got a double jump there where do I go now and there's certain parts where you they cleverly place like a coin 
but you can't see the platform. So you're like, okay, the platform's over there. I need to jump off screen. So as it moves across, I can find the platform. It's that real classic... Um, there are secret walls as well. So where yeah. it looks like a wall, you can actually jump through it. You know, wow. Sonic the Hedgehog style, old yeah. school sort of. And I yeah. love the idea that you're playing as a classic everyday NPC skeleton <laughs> yes. that you would find in a dungeon. <laughs> yeah. And the dungeon's been raided by humans who you would normally be playing as. Yeah. And they're like, go find these humans, let's stop them. So it's a real kind of clever twist on, on how it is. Um Next up, Hero, it's just entered Early Access. Mm. Uh, I My preview, it's on the website on YouTube now. Um, again, go check that out because it's a lot more in-depth. It's about eight minute long, really in-depth preview of, of the game. It was based on the closed beta that I played. I've right. just been sent a key for the Early Access. I'm not going to play it for a little while because I was let down by the game. Ooh. Oh. Um, yeah. It, it's uh, Next up, Hero... The Nintendo had a direct, and if you remember, around about October, September time last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. And that's where the I just heard of the game beforehand, but that's where you got saw gameplay and you saw this and all of, like it looks really cool. The main idea of the game for people who don't know is Next Up Hero is a game where you're meant to die because, as the title suggests, you die, and then the next person coming in can resurrect your body, and then you fight alongside them as a kind of AI-controlled NPC right. to help them progress further. They die, the next person who gets further has got more ghosts to go. So in that, the last person will have like nine of these ghosts to help fight alongside them right. to progress through the dungeons. Right. The On paper, brilliant idea. I really like that I kind of multiplayer aspect that isn't multiplayer, if that makes sense. I like that kind yeah. of feel for it. It doesn't work. Oh. It doesn't work for two main okay. reasons. Go on. One, the game is always online. I get that because you need to re resurrect these thingies, these people. But it means you can't right. pause the game. And, and it why, means. Why, 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 why does it have to be online to resurrect people? So, this is what I say in the, in the preview. It would be so much better if you could choose. So, the, they're called ventures. These dungeons that you play through are called ventures in game. And yeah. when you go onto the venture menu, you've got like a easy, medium, hard, insane ventures. Uh, and there's these special ventures in the middle you have to unlock these tokens for. But. So I choose the easy easy ventures. There's then 200 ventures I can choose to play through. And they're all player created. They're not player created. As I said in the preview, they're player inspired. Because you just input a section of options. So you go yeah. short, uh, forest area, lots of enemies, drop this basically. And then it generates a venture based on that. Okay. So what would be better is, for me, is you choose a venture, you download that venture, and then you play that venture offline. So you have yeah. to download it online and then you play the adventure offline. Because I got kicked from the server several times halfway through adventure for no reason. Lost connection to the server. It was an alpha though, wasn't it? Uh, this was closed beta. Right, so you, okay. that will obviously, that will improve. Yeah. But the fact that you can't pause the game won't ever improve. And a bigger concern that I thought about and raised in the preview is this game is built to be coming to a Switch. You can't play the game on the go if it's connected to the internet. No, it's true. And that was my biggest concern. Like, it's fine sitting at home. In the idea where you sat at home, fine. All the I know these critics are in a, a special position, not us, but the say the professional, the big critics, who always say they take their switches on the flights when they're flying between events. You can go the internet on the plane. You won't be playing the next up hero. Yeah. I I play it often when I actually take the switch out of me when we go shopping because Sarah will go, oh, we're going to Top Shop, we're going to try some clothes on. I'll sit down and play Switch. I'm not even kidding. I'll sit in Top Shop for 40 minutes to play Switch because I'm not fucking waiting around doing well, nothing else. Well, when we flew out to Guernsey, I have my Switch with yeah. me. It goes into flight mode. And if there's a game on there I yeah. can't play because of that, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah. And so that... Now, I do say this is still... It's just, it went in early access on Thursday. So that there's every chance that this may change. Now the second thing that doesn't work with it mm. is these. Just yeah. Yeah. I'm a little confused. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> so the idea of the game is obviously there's a level, and when you die, you get resurrected by someone else. So let, let's game. say you can choose. No, no. When you oh, die, no, you no, get no. resurrected in your own game. No, 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 no. What? So, oh, okay. so when you're so you're going on okay, level. So yeah. let's use adventure for example. You die. Adventure <laughs> short ventures are ten levels. So let's say it's a dungeon that's ten levels deep. Yeah. That's how it works. Okay. If I'm playing through, I get to level three. Yeah. I die, die. I'm dead. When you then get to level three, if you're the next player in, right, yeah, you yeah. get to level three, you'll see a ghost on the floor. You resurrect that ghost, and that ghost is AI controlled in your game. 
So it's not you. I'm not controlling that. It's, it's just now AI. It's, just but it's, it's you, you got to, yeah. but, it, but it's just an AI. So it's my character. System. So are you. So if I choose the, the... So there's... I think there's like eight So why different... isn't the offline mode just where you got to last? I don't know. See, this is why, so why I was confused. So, yeah. so there's I, I eight... I understand why that's online if it is you. But so there's AI, eight heroes. It. So it's, 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 the, it's the Dark Souls so thing, isn't it? Yeah, basically. Where you get to see the ghost of the other yeah. player to go yeah. along. So there's seven or, uh, seven or eight heroes you can play as. And genuinely, the heroes all feel different. There's a big flaw to heroes. The melee heroes are fucking useless because the damage output of the enemies compared to the damage output of you is way off. The hero I played a lot as, um, Roke, I think was her name. She throws his boomerangs. Uh, she had 85 health. Average enemy done 20 hit point damage. <laughs> there is no way of healing in that game. Four hits, I was dead. Now, I, that, I wouldn't mind, because the idea is that when you resurrect these ghosts, that would they be fight on side you. Hits, but hey. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> when you resurrect these ghosts, they um, they fight alongside you. Now the biggest issue is, say I had six ghosts fighting alongside me, all six attacking an enemy at once would do the same damage as what I do with one attack. They are pretty much yeah. There's there's a that I'm guaranteed will be fixed. But as a preview, and what I had to play as a preview, it was a broken mechanic because I was like I could have nine of them fighting and I'd still die because they were useless. Right. So that's why I was let down by next up hero. It's got and I say in the preview again a lot of potential to be a very good game. It's a fun. It's not there yet. It's because it's got, it's got something to it that made me. I mean, I put in eleven hours of the closed beta, not enjoying eleven hours because I was like, oh, let's play another one because it is the ventures of you jump in, uh, you play a little bit, you jump out, you play a little bit, you jump out, and it's that kind of addictive gameplay loop of you're always. I call it a currency hunt because that's what you're doing. You're going in to get a currency because you know you're going to die, but your currency carries over, I and mean, you can use that currency to buy this. And that's what. So it's got that rogue like. Yeah, aspect, and it's yeah. so so it's it, it's. A lot of fun like that, but it could be so much better if they just make a couple of changes. Um, well, still time. Yep. Yeah. I'll, I'll hurry up a little bit so we, we're not banging on for ages. Farmer's Dynasty, I'm going to talk very... I'm not even going to talk about Let's it. not even talk about There's it. There's a Let's yeah, Play. Skip over let's it, Play yeah. Episode just 2 is up. Let's Play it's farming. if you must. Uh, it's Lewis Farming. Uphill really, Farming. All I will say is I really actually enjoy um, doing these Let's Plays uh, and I'm not getting loads of views, but if you want to just go and check them out, <laughs> then check them out because they're fun. I like him. Uh, and the last thing I played, as I said, was the station, which we're going to talk about more later. I can't say anything else about that. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, so, should we move on to news? Let's it's move. the news. Oh my God, we're <laughs> half an hour in and made it to the news. We did yeah. it, guys. Hey. Cool. Cool. All right. Fucking hell. <laughs> the news. Is you checking Pornhub again? He is. I wish. <laughs> the news. Okay. Um, so, quite a lot of news to get through. Oh, God. <laughs> Quite a lot of news to get through. I'm not being, yourselves, guys. I'm not being rude. I am finding I took a lot of photos on. Was that me? He takes lots of photos. I thought it was me. Uh, I take photos on my phone of news stories, so I haven't got to write them down. I can just read them uh, out here. Okay, so first up, uh, Vampier, you mentioned last weekend yes. as your favourite or one of your most anticipated games. Yeah. Uh, so you'll be pleased to hear that Don't Nod Entertainment are Boys. bringing out a four <laughs> four part web series. Uh, that is, effectively, they're five minute long videos detailing the development of the game. What inspired them to make this game, how they made this game, locations they went to to play this game, um, the, how it was all made. Because the game looks fucking awesome, especially the fact that it's 1800. Can I say, though? Uh, go on. How oh, many people are really going to want to see how okay. it's made? Well, let, let me read. I want to see the story building up to it. Oh, okay. yeah, I want same. I want side stories. I Let me read this. When I go in there, I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, look at this. This is a world I, I already admit, know. Let me read this. First, tell me about that. And then, like, so yeah, let me read this. And then I will tell you what I thought it was. Okay, so go the press release that they sent us said, Focus Home Interactive and Don't Nod Entertainment have, I'll pull up this one, not looking down. Uh, Focus Home Interactive and Don't Nod Entertainment have announced today that they will be releasing an original weekly four part web series that reveals the studio's approach to the upcoming RPG Vampire. The series, titled Don't Nod Presents Vampire, aims to pull back the curtain for the fans curious on how the game is being made. According to Focus Home Interactive, each episode will last five minutes and will include gameplay footage that hasn't previously been seen. The first episode, episode one, Making Monsters, will release next week on January the 18th and delve into Don't Nod's and delve into why Don't Nod decided to create a game that puts players in the role of a predator. 
Now, when oh, it was... if only that really meant Predator, man. That would be <laughs> fucking awesome. Now, when it was announced, I so the press release come through and the, the subject title was um, uh, Vampire gets a four-part. Yeah, I remember I seeing that I instantly thought, I thought, oh my God, is this going to be... When it's a website, I thought, is this going to be a four-part web comic? In Do you remember heads? the Castlevania one they did Absolutely recently not. that Netflix did? Yeah, yeah. Of the oh, four yeah, episodes yeah, yeah. that were coming up, which were brilliant. Mm. Really good. And the first time I saw the Vampire one, I was like, Oh my god, they've nailed this. This so, is the best advertising I, I, you can do. I didn't, I didn't and think then I heard it was a making of, and I was like, I don't want to make it. So, well, it's going to be a bunch of pre rendered cutscenes. But I'm. Like, yeah. Story leading up to the game. But see, I, 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 I'm I, still, I thought it was going to be. I still want to see this, though. <laughs> I'm. I know you said who wants, but I want to watch it. I watched it. The trailer's available now. You can go to Don't Not. You can go to Vampire's website and you can watch the trailer of what it's going to be and what they're going to be detailing. The fact, originally, if it had been like 20 minute videos, I wouldn't have been interested. But five minutes, I'm like, yeah, I'll watch five minutes of Element Log. Like, previous unplayed game footage and see their thoughts behind it because I guarantee there'll be certain things in there that when I'm playing the game I'll be like ah oh, this is what they've done here 20 minutes overall of my time over the four weeks it's fine I'm, I'm in I'm up for it good for you <laughs> while the rest of us are all there going can we just have some story to build can I if you want to build excitement I get, in me I get the story tease the story get the game so, out there don't have a developer <laughs> and I love developers but oh my Christ they are some boring ass people as well, especially Whoa, when they. Get... No, 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 no. Especially when you get them on coding. Well, you get, <laughs> you get a me... dev there talking about coding, let me point out. and they found a beautiful little piece of code. Seriously, I've had this let conversation with devs um, who sat there talking about a know. lovely line of code, and have gone, "Oh, it was beautiful. I figured out how to make this bit by inserting this if statement in there." And I'm there going, "Oh God, kill me now." <laughs> I like will point out to my dad talk about his years of teaching computing. You're like, yeah, good, nice work. Dad, I will point out, Jesus. don't nod entertainment are French, so they probably are quite boring. Uh, excuse me, I mean, whoa, is excellent. So. Whoa, I'm joking. My sister-in-law is I'm French, joking. and she's not I boring. Lived, I lived in France. Her husband's pretty boring, but she <laughs> is not. <laughs> I lived in France, France for six years, so I can say that. So I, I will uh, say, hang on, how does that work? <laughs> that works as the same as that whole like I've got a black friend. <laughs> Lewis is definitely the kind of guy to say that as yeah. well. So, <laughs> what oh, was well. that other great one who who recently there was an American politician who was being uh, told he was anti-Semitic and he went and his wife went on and went, yeah. no, our lawyers, are, our Jews. lawyers are all Jews, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fucking that was brilliant. great. That was awful. Um, but yeah, so Vampire, you can check out now the Vampire website. Um, there's a trailer for it, and then 18th of January. Tom wants to say something now. Tom I do want to say, say something. Yeah, I was going to say that I am. Okay, next. <laughs> oh, oh he's, he's crying now. What Insert that music here? from those old Simon Mayo. Mate, we've been asked that. We've been asking that question for the last <laughs> six months. Why do you come here? Because he's the only one who actually plays these games. We've been bluffing. He doesn't even years. play them. I come in. I come in with Dan. That's the only reason I come yeah. here. And you know, I get. Can you go around and say what you're going to say? <laughs> Sorry, I'd have said it by now. Then fucking interrupted me. Well, you wouldn't. Can you got a chance now? Go on, say. He can't even remember what he was going to say. I was just going to say that I'm really looking forward to it because I, mean, I, I like this kind of thing. And I remember when Uncharted Four was coming out, did a similar thing. Yeah. They're doing development diaries for that, and. Uh, I remember losing my mind looking at those. So yeah, yeah, I'm uh, I'm actually quite excited for this. Cool, good, glad. To That's hear. all I was going to say. I was going to say I'm okay. enthusiastic, Lewis, but you cut me off. So you know, whatever, <laughs> fine. Uh, next Get piece. Get on the news. Next piece of uh, <laughs> uh, next piece of news is um, Devolver Digital, who are publishing Red Strings Club, and it's being developed by Destruct. It's, it's, you know, I know how to say it. Here we go. Here we go. It's destruct <laughs> teams. It's destruct teams, but it's really weird because there's no double T. So it's destruct teams, if that makes sense. Destruct teams. Okay, destruct teams. Yeah, destruct teams are the developers of it, uh, and they Red Strings Club has got a, an, an announced release date of the twenty second of January. Why should you be excited for Red Strings? Club? It's quite easy. Devolver Digital are involved. It's Devolver Digital involved, <laughs> and it's um, so I I applied. They had a closed beta that went out before Christmas. I applied for it and um, uh, unfortunately we didn't get onto it. But uh, we are now on Devolver Digital Press List and so I got, hopefully we're going to get an early copy of this to, to get a review out for you guys. Red Streams Club is a cyberpunk narrative adventure where you're effectively trying to uncover a conspiracy uh, of the government. And to do this, you're taking on mundane day-to-day -day jobs. So you're either being a bartender and you're just making drinks, but you have to mix drinks properly. 
and then talk to the customers to get information on the conspiracy, or you're doing pottery. Um, Obviously, yeah. Barbon, that was quite a job. doing pottery. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but then that's set in a cyberpunk world, and if you just look at the trailer, the it's like we plan up there now. The the pixelated artwork on it looks seriously good. It, it's just if you've ever played Flashback, yes. It's very much like Flashback or the old LucasArts game. So yeah. Secret okay. Monkey Island, all of those. Like, it, I mean, it's more polished than they were yeah, yeah. because they were not able to develop in the same way we can now. But it is, it's along those lines. Uh, also, if you purchase this game in the first week of it launching on Steam, it's only coming to PC at the moment, but I'll be amazed if this isn't... The, the Volvo Digital are pretty good at bringing their games across the console. Um but it will come to PC first, 22nd of January. But if you buy it in the first week of launching, not only will you get 20% off the price, the price is 11.99. So uh, you'll get 20% off the price. I'm not a mathematician. I'm going to work it out now. But you also get a free copy. You get a free copy of the Struck Team's first game, Gods Will Be Watching. Ooh. So you completely free copy of the first game. Do we know what this game is? So, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> about nine quid will get you, because it's eleven ninety nine dollars I don't know what it is in pounds. So uh, nine quid, roughly, will get you a copy of Red Strings Club and it will get you a copy of Gods Will Be Watching. Okay. It'll, it'll be £2.20 off. There you go. Just to help you. $2.20. <laughs> $2.20. Get yeah. naffed. <laughs> anyway, get that's one, nine quid. Nine quid. That's all we're going to go with. Nine quid. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It does. It does yeah, it does. Actually um, look pretty good. Cool. We will yeah. definitely be reviewing it, even if they don't send us a copy. We'll review we'll it. find a way to review it, yeah. Definitely. On um, on PC. And then I'd be amazed if by the end of the year we don't see this on console. You give me a game that looks slightly mm. retro, I'm fucking on it. Yeah. That is true. Uh, next yeah. up, The Darwin Project. Have you seen... What we're they... talking about I've never this heard about this. Yeah. What is this? So this is... No, but this is... <laughs> This is fucking awesome. What the developers, okay, what Scamia Studios. So in case you didn't know, PAX South is happening this weekend. Yeah. We're not there, I'm afraid. Uh, it's an event we'd love to go to because PAX is so good for indie games. The different difficulty is we are in the UK. PAX we're poor. Is in America. Uh, <laughs> so Notice we drink out of cans. Head to this is where we are. Veteran and throw us enough money. We'll be at PAX next year. I mean, we'll be we go to PAX East later this year if you get enough. But anyway, um, Scamia Studios. <laughs> we'll go to PAX. anything you send us to. Just give <laughs> us the cash. Scamia Studios. Like, 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 if you give us money, we'll go places instead of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I've spoken quite a lot about the Darwin Project and the Darwin Project. The first press release that came out when we when they closed Alpha released mentioned that they one of the things the goals they want to achieve with the game is they want to team up with a streaming site and they want to introduce stream viewers interaction in the game so when you're watching the game to have mm -hmm. a direct influence on how these battle royale games play out they've now officially confirmed what they are and how it's going to work they've teamed up with mixer not twitch they've gone with mixer Probably Ooh, because the game is Xbox exclusive. Exactly. Out yeah. So them. probably because they, there are Microsoft exclusive at first. Yeah. Um, so the Darwin Project this weekend is a beta trial for these interactions. Yeah. And the way they work is there's a, a full article on this on the website. So if you head to Indiecredible, Indiecredible.com now, you can see the link that shows you exactly where they're going to be streaming to on Mixer. Um, it will be running as of now. And it'll be running in daytime Pacific time. So roughly, if you're watching in the UK, it's probably from about 2 o'clock in the afternoon through to about 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, they'll be streaming from okay. there. And um, you can go along and watch it. You haven't got to be at PAX. Obviously, you're at PAX. You can get involved. You can actually play the games. Now, the way they work, do you remember I spoke about the show director position yeah. you can have last year where you, yeah. have, you basically control the game? So the show director now opens up the same options, but opens up for voting. So show director ah, okay. will go, do I nuke this area or this area? And then people watching will go, this area. Show director might go, do I give this person the, the health boost or this person the health boost? People will vote again. Okay. You also have the ability of, as streamers, to bet on which player you think is going to win. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Get a bit, not, get a bit not, gambly here. Not as happy <laughs> about that one. <clears throat> To okay. be honest, is that legal? Now, I'm terribly sorry, but now, are we heading towards loot box dick moves? No, here? because I don't this know, right and I couldn't, I couldn't find this if they meant real money or what they meant. It doesn't matter what you gamble. I'm sure it, it really doesn't matter what you gamble. At some point, there has to be money involved to get you whatever you want to. No, it I'll, can be Twitch coins. It can be whatever the hell you're doing. Okay, but there are sort there is a point where you have just so you, hit you're not if in on the. This no. person's going to win over this person. If oh no, I love that idea. Yeah, I just don't mind like the gambling. Just the boat or whatever, but if it, it feels weird to be betting but 
anything. As soon as you bet it, makes it really adult. So the betting, the betting is I can't. I, there literally is no more information. The press release just said we'll be able to bet on which player will come out on, or come out superior. I don't know if that meant, like you said, I just vote this person wins or this person wins. It might be a case of you just vote for who you think is going to win, and you get no reward. But you know damn well straight away there are going to there's going to be a reward. There is no way you will ever do anything where you vote for who you think is going to win. Without what I will some think is there will be a website because uh, what's that CS:GO website that you oh, could, it's like. 20,000 oh, I forgot about that that was um, a big scandal yeah, 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 it was like skins. a really dodgy website yeah CSGO. it was what well, Ali A and T Lotto? Martin who yeah, got CSGO together Lotto. and went oh look at this site look yeah, they were like, honestly oh, little never children. heard of it yeah oh, these guys, run the site. I yeah. just won 50,000 quid <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah so I mean okay the betting aside I think it's um, sorry on a, on another note didn't you just love the fact that um, was Ali A was sponsored by um, Fridge Raiders Pieces of pre-processed fucking chicken. I have no this. idea, really. Oh, I pissed myself laughing at that. Lot. It's like, well done, Ali. Eh? Moving um, up in the world. Made it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the, 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 the Darwin Project. Um, next week we'll be, we'll be sponsored by Fridge I do, like, <laughs> I do like the idea that they are because let's be honest, battle royale, battle royale games on streaming sites are probably the most watched games. So having an interaction yeah. to actually what you're no, watching, I, like that idea. I think that's great. And it'll be interesting to see how it works this weekend. As I said, this is very much like early beta stage of this part of the game. But they want to make it an embedded part of the game for when it le- releases. Uh, at the moment, they're still setting a release date around spring 2018 on Xbox and PC. I think it's going to be delayed because they've only just, to this weekend, the first beta they've had. And that's I'd, fair, I think, isn't it? Mm, I don't know. You're, you're talking about a mass... Like I don't big... know because it's not that actually bigger jump. But I do development wise. But as I did say in the preview there, as well, um, it's very polished for the alpha. It was very polished. It did. The, it the did. only thing it was lacking was content. In terms of gameplay, I mean, that alpha was more polished than PUBG is at the moment on Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> right, and yeah, I had a turd that was more polished uh, than PUBG yeah. is on Xbox. So uh, uh, <laughs> next up, we have got the brilliant news. Dan. Okay. Yeah. Aimed at you. This is in there solely for you, mate. Okay. I don't know what this is, but could there be a new walking sim releasing on consoles? Oh fuck. Could that there shit. be? There not could be, there fucking is. You okay. Oh, that's, that's the end of the news article then. No. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna interrupt with this this about the new walking sim that's going there. Okay. Because uh Lufthauser Z has come to uh, the Commodore 64, which is actually a brand new release of an indie game that was released uh, four years ago and is actually being released so you can play it on the Commodore 64. Are you shitting me? I know it has nothing to do with a walking sim, but fuck walking sims. That's that's, honestly, that's pretty cool. That is is very cool. That's releasing it on cassette. That's amazing. So you can play it. So I've got a Commodore 64 at home. Yeah, so you're going to buy it. Is this this Fuck yeah, because how much is it going to cost? 40 quid. That's not even that's like not less too than bad. A price. But it comes yeah. with it's as if it's made for the Commodore 64. No, like for a new game, the, oh, ma- the amount they've managed really cool. to pile on an old cassette. cassette tape is insane. That's genius. That's cool. And I'm like, um, I can't wait to play. Anyway, that. back to the station. So the station was <laughs> announced. Um, to, now I can't. I, I've got to be really careful. I'm, I'm waking, waking. I have to be really careful how I say this because obviously I have I've finished a game. Um, I can say what I want though because no, no, I'm under no yeah, embargo no, no, no. and I haven't played the I know game. you can but as in I can't say I can't want... say anything so no. let me talk about it I'll talk about it as well so okay. I, actually watched, I watched the trailer for this one as did I because yep. you got in touch and I watched the trailer and actually it looked like quite a nice starship Yes, so they were moving as through. starships go. But yeah. I did notice the fact that in the trailer they were moving far quicker than you're ever going to be able to in a walking sim I've heard from somebody who knows who who knows who but you can run in the game Fuck me. Yeah, uh, which is pretty crazy. Okay. There is... <laughs> you don't understand how hard this is because there's so much I want to say to well, you. You can't well, shut you up. Can't you can't shut up. This is the best okay. part You've of the show it, we've yeah. ever had. This is the me and Tom show. Finally, no one has to Welcome listen to Welcome to the me and Tom show. Anyway, <laughs> what, what I can say is I can talk about the context of the story that was in the press release. So um, the station has been announced for a... Release date of the 20th of February. It's coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. It is um, developed by a group of AAA, AAA devs who have worked on some pretty big titles. Um, they've kind of all come together. They've made this game. It's not a very long game. It's um, just a... It's... Whoa, 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 dude. Here. Getting oh. a bit dangerous. It's not a very long game. Okay. Might want to re- The press release re- says it is a short narrative adventure. Press release words. 
Okay, so, so you, you should be using the press release yeah, okay. words to describe. Press release that words. Sounds a bit too um, negative. Okay, well, so the press release words are: it is a short narrative adventure. <laughs> that, um, so I'm going to go. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to tread up on anyone's toes here because I'm going to say what I've got the context of the story here, but I'm going to say it because I've got more of an idea of it. So Wait, basically, oh, what happens? Oh, I'd say this. The there's a company called Axiom. Yep, yeah, this is this is all in the press release. Yeah. No, 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 no. Right, get the press release up I've on got your it phone. I, no, I know it. No, I do not trust I your trust notes. Trust me. I trust your notes about as much as I trust that this okay. beer is made of piss. A, <laughs> right. A company called Axiom has sent off. Uh, basically, a planet has been found with an alien civilization on it. The alien civilization is in. Civil I would like War. to point out right now that I have nothing to do with Lewis, and at any point as in the I. future <laughs> where any indie game companies would like to send us games, they are still able to send them to Tom and me. We are very trusted. Oh, I just want to announce and we will this, uh, not be putting out any information that me, would here we go. me and Dan start a new company Indie-tastic coming out this <laughs> week <laughs> um, no in all honesty real joke aside I am um, I'm allowed to basically talk about the game I'm not allowed to give any opinion on the game I'm not allowed to give any information that isn't already shared on Twitter or thingy so I can talk about you, all this can be found on the website which I'm going to point you to at the end or it's going to be linked below so it's um, a company called Axiom have found a planet that's got alien life from on there that is currently in a civil war so they send off a spaceship called the Espial Station with a it's a small well it's quite a big space station but it's staffed by three people and it's a stealth space station that is orbiting the planet <laughs> sorry it's a what stealth <laughs> <laughs> yeah carry on okay. I'm with you, don't worry. Okay. Ignore that. The stealth, stealth space station. <laughs> they can't see me. I'm in the sky. The, so, the, the idea. Is. The idea of the spell. What the fuck? You can't see. No, 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 no. <laughs> space is black. You know what I mean? The idea of the stealth space station is though so that the um, the crew can monitor the uh, behaviour of the aliens and see whether they can be basically make an alliance with them, whether they can go onto the planet and speak to them properly and. Talk to them. So they're monitoring from stealth. Uh, unfortunately, the space station has gone radio silent. Uh, they've lost all power, meaning that they've now become visible to the aliens. And you are sent up as an investigator to investigate the happenings of the SPL space station. And that is where I'm going to cut it off. Okay? okay. That is what okay. the game is. So that's all you can say. That's all I can say. Right. And then you walk around the space station. 20th of February, it releases on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. And there will be a review because the review's done. Well, there you go. Yeah. You know what? I would really like. Do you have this game? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would really love to do a let's play of it. It's a good idea. Okay. So I'll come around here, mm -hmm. and you can pretend that in some way I find this interesting. No, I, I'll let's let's do it as a challenge. I let's can't even see. say whether I think you'll find it interesting let's or not. Let's see <laughs> if we can find this year. Let's see if we can find a walking sim. That doesn't bore the tits off me. We well, uh, c can we include Tacoma because I think you'd like that one, and it's last year, but you haven't played it. So, uh, are we allowed to include last year games, uh, or should we just look at this year? I don't think you. I don't think you year. enjoy Tacoma. Really? Yeah. yeah. But Tacoma's like your main gripe with them is that it's just too slow. You're too. I will talk about. to you guys off screen about why Patreon people might get this. Patreon people will get this. Oh, okay. I'll talk Patreon, to you off screen this. about. Uh, why you may enjoy this more than Tacoma? That's all I sound about. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Um, um, anyway, we're going to move on before I, I get say, in any yeah, trouble. From the trailer, it looks like a scary Tacoma. <laughs> it looks um, like a scary Tacoma, pretty much. Scary Tacoma. We've got to move on because yeah, I cannot. Say, I, I'm let's literally go. like, I want to talk about it. How hard it is for um, holding any words. I know. It's really <laughs> <hard. It's> like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Second from last piece of news is the. <laughs> Fee, fee, fe, fu, what is it? Fe. Get fe. Do you know what it is? Is it fay? Do you know what it is? Well, it's not fay. Could be. Because it would need the thingy up above it. Do you know what it is? Wait. It's a shit name, that's what it is. I don't know if it is. It is a oh, shit yeah. name. Think about how long we've spent taking the piss out of it. Everyone's going to know it. No, they're not. Are they going to know it's fe or fi or fu or fi? There's nothing more frustrating than a name you don't know how to pronounce. shit. That's true. Because if you can't spell it on Google. You don't want to say it because they say it wrong and you seem like an idiot. Yeah. But that's true. You can't go, Alexa, fe. Exactly, that yeah. should be like, I'm sorry, I don't understand that. <laughs> Order you. <laughs> oh my god, cheese. he's Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway. He knows all my Pornhub requests. Fee, fair, That's whatever it's it. called. Um, <laughs> it's uh, got a release date. It is coming on the 16th of February. Uh, Zoink Games, who developed Stick It to the Man and are also bringing out the um, uh, uh, Flippin' Death, coming out later this year. Uh, and EA, it's the EA Origins thing. Um, Publishers that brought um, Unraveled. 
you know what? I don't like EA. As, a, as as I've been controversial very controversial there, Dan. I don't but know. EA Orange, <laughs> EA Orange, EA Origins, Origins. Yep. It's Orange really is, good. Yeah. It, well, it's really good. Unraveled was I liked what Unraveled. Obviously, A Way Out is part of their the EA is Origins. Well. There's yep. a lot of games they produce mm. or put I'll, out I'll, there I'll that are actually my really quite good. I play an EA or- Origins. I game. think as long okay. as EA are just there to hand the cash and not stand there and go, "Oh, we want." Loot boxes and shit. They are the worst. They usually make pretty good games. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, well, fair. It does look pretty good. And Zoink, if we've changed it, it's called Fair now. If if no one's we'll played, just, every um, time we say it, yeah, say it, yeah, say it differently. If no one has played Stick It to Man, I recommend playing that. It's on Switch now. It's a really good little fun kind of puzzle game. Um, and uh, Fair it looks quite. It looks like a fun exploration game. It, it, yeah, I think Fee looks pretty good. I'm trying to make sure we're saying it differently. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm really up. And uh, <laughs> our last piece of news goes on to the fact that GDC... <laughs> yeah, I'm getting through. There you go. Pictures of dogs. <laughs> Pictures of dogs. <laughs> um, that GDC oh, is, is, um, is starting in February. For people who don't know what GDC is, it's Game Developer Conference. It's where... We won't be going again. It's in San Francisco. <laughs> but um, I've been to San Francisco. I know you've been, but we're not going this time, are you we? You can get weed on H. Ashbury. Brilliant. And they really don't mind. Oh. You just said to you, went up on the hills, took ecstasy, it was amazing. <laughs> well, let's go to San Francisco um, soon, guys. <laughs> let's do this. Anyway, San Francisco is where GDC happens. Uh, it's like um, a week, I want to say a week long. I think it's about five days long. But it's where basically all the game devs come together, and it's where apparently a lot of really great game ideas and a lot of indie ideas are, are basically brought to life because these big AAA developers will come in and they'll show. Okay, you've only been in the development industry for six months. This is how we do this. This is how we do this. Here's our ideas. Oh, that idea is amazing. We tried something like that ages ago. Change it. Try doing this, and it's it's kind of like the brainchild of where like, so many games stem from. And it's where a lot of leaks happen because <laughs> press go there, and the devs are like, "Oh yeah, have you seen? Uh, have you heard that EA are making this game here?" And people yeah. are like, "All right, I can get on that now. Write a story about that. <laughs> that could be us, guys. Um, <laughs> Anyway, we could be games everywhere. <laughs> during um, with Lewis there, it's a definite. During Absolutely. during GDC, uh, IGF happens, which is the Indie Game Festival. And Indie Game Festival has it's kind of like the Indie Game of the Year awards, but it's not because it's it's bullshit. Uh, I'm going to say it. Um, <laughs> I said we we'll never get yeah. invited there. It's, then, bull- I guess. it's bullshit because. No, I get what they are. They have to recognise every indie game. I get that impression. I get the idea that they have to go through mobile. They have you to know go through... what it reminds me of, right? In modern schooling, when it, over here in the UK, when kids do sports day, you have oh. to give every little fucker a sticker. Yeah. It doesn't matter how they do. They could have fallen over 50 times trying to run 10 metres. But you've got to give them a sticker to go, well done. Dude. Well done. You aren't able to walk. Right? Well, I didn't get any well done stickers. No, no, well, no. To be fair, nowadays. all my stickers were first and second, so. Uh, nowadays. Anyway, so. Really well done once, so. <laughs> so the, um, the scene. Hang on, I didn't get any stickers. I didn't get any. All of no. my stickers were no. first. I didn't get any well done stickers. I, 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 I see was... a floor in his um, <laughs> Anyway, so the, the lead prize, or the, the, the game of the year, whatever you want to call it, any game of the year, is called the. the, the, the blah, 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 blah. Seamus McNally. Um, grand prize and the nominees have come out for the Seamus McNally Grand Prize. I'll give you the a horrible name. I think it's Seamus. Yep. Yeah. Is it Seamus? I think so. Okay, Seamus. I'm sorry. I'm well, really... hang on. What, 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 There's no saying? H there, but I'm pretty sure S E U M A S is a Seamus McNally. Seamus, yeah. Okay, Seamus McNally. <laughs> Seamus McNally Grand Prize. Now I'm going through honourable ne- mentions before we go into the nominees. Honourable, me- honourable mentions. Had honourable. We're oh, never going to yeah. play beer golf with you anymore. Honourable right? mentions go to now. Tacoma, Rain World, Dream Daddy, A Dad Dating Simulator, <laughs> Comet, Cosmic oh, Top yeah. Secret, oh, Hollow Knight, Cuphead, yeah. Everything is Going to Be Okay. Now, I have played six of those games at list, and I can categorically say Thomas played none. So many more of those should be in more Grand Prize nominees. The Grand Prize nominees are Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy, Nights in the Woods, West of Loathing, Into the Breach, Heat Signature, and Baba Is You. Now, I've played, I reviewed Night in the Woods. Yeah. I've played half an hour of Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy, which we're going to talk about in a minute. I have checked the videos out for the rest of them. Yeah. So, West of Loathing doesn't look great. Into the Breach is, it looks about as generic as an indie game you can get. Baba Is You actually looks really interesting. It's a real kind of very low pixel, uh, you know that kind of um, Undertale style? Yeah. Very Undertale style puzzle game. 
that really kind of plays up on being a game. Um, okay. And yeah. then he's in charge. I couldn't. I watched a little bit of it, and what I'm trying to say is, not in the woods. I can understand why it's there. Yeah. It's very upsetting that Tacoma the Tacoma is The rest mentioned. of you, the rest of them, like even Cuphead, I kind of even Cuphead that I think is overrated from last year. Yeah. That deserves to be in there over some of I don't games. know. It does seem like the honorable mentions this... are better than the... Okay, so uh, let's talk about because we we all know getting over it. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, who doesn't? But before we get into it, I think it kind of makes sense. So if you're doing a indie game show and you're really wanting to promote indie games and the smaller developers and you want to push that bit, you're going to want to avoid the ones everyone's talked about because there's no point promoting them. Okay, so... So you're going to want to promote the ones that other people haven't really gone for. Which I get. I get that. Not in the woods, though. was fucking everyone was talking about that. And getting over it is everywhere. Ooh, Cat's get... Quest, Cat Quest wasn't spoke about loads. That's yeah, not featuring in the... only Indie anywhere. Credible knew about that. It seems like it. Have you seen the... Have you seen the still yet to play it. Have you seen the um, Accolades trailer? Oh, by right. the way, guys, if, if we're not, we're in it. <laughs> Wait, what? There's an accolades trailer where it's talking about like quotes for. Is it Chris really? Hallett. We're the second quote in there. It says uh, the perfect adventure game. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Indie yes. credible. We're in there. Yeah. <laughs> we are still the most. We're fifteen thousand views. That's that it. One Fuck you, boys. I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Can I have your autograph? Yeah, of course yeah. you can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who don't um, sign it out to? But there's uh, so many... Susan, that's my wife. <laughs> there's so many... That's my mum's name. <laughs> well, I don't like... You said... I, I get what you're saying. <laughs> I thought so by the t-shirt. <laughs> I get what you're saying, but like... Cuphead is there as a normal mention. Cuphead was probably the most talked about indie game from last year. But that's exactly what. But that's why that's it's an honourable mention. But then why is it an honourable mention compared to other right. games? So if you want to attract people to your site, if mm-hmm. you want to attract people along to have a look at you, you've got to have in there games that are big, mm. like because because the only way to attract the fifteen-year-old boy who's like, oh, I want to get into yeah. indie games, is by stating a couple he's heard of. Yeah, okay, yeah. To do that, you get people to your site. You, so you, you've you got to have no, cup I, heads in there. I get, I get yeah, that. You've, and I you've do, got all and the, the big I do, that's how they games. then look at this, and they'll go, oh, what's getting over yeah. it? Well, it's exactly oh, what's what we've done. I downloaded Night Get Her Over was It on really the... good. It was but okay. not many people heard of it. And honestly, you go and talk to lots of people who aren't into indie games or haven't heard of it, they'll have heard of Cupheads, but they won't have heard. Definitely, yeah. Well, I'd, I'll be honest. Um, so, <laughs> running an indie game website, I didn't. I had not heard of getting over it with before reading this list. Really? Yeah, I definitely had. I had. So I'm not because I mean I'm more so than you. Pretty hot on the YouTube. And, yeah, uh, and, uh, <laughs> I'm hot on the but YouTube. But it is YouTube. a YouTube.com. Sounds, sounds like my and, dad uh, said it. Yeah, but it well, is it was um, hot on the YouTube. But it's a big YouTube. It's everywhere. Game, it? it's, it's a big everywhere. YouTube. Game, yeah. it's all pretty much every gaming uh, channel I follow has done a getting over video at least one. Some of them done. Yeah, but we. Did, I, I that's re. Really, so I downloaded it to see what it was like because mm. I was like, I, 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 I know what it's like by watching the video, but I don't know how it plays like. That's yeah, really, yeah. So I downloaded it and I was instantly I was like, I'm not doing a video on this because there's far too many out there. It's just too. There's no point. I deleted it after half an hour because I was fucking infuriated by it. And that, but that's what the game is. I get that's, that's what the game is. So yeah, definitely. That's what it's trying that. to do. I, and it goes back to the list again. I disagree with it being on the list. So do I. For Game mm-hmm. of the Year mm-hmm. or Indie Game of the Year. Because you... even as they state in the game, the voiceover in the game states that it's basically it's taking the ideas from another game that I can't remember now, Hike something. Yeah, yeah. And it's using, and not saying it's an asset flip because I haven't checked, but it, it basically jokes yeah, yeah. about being asset flippy and, yeah. and doing this a lot. And that... That the game isn't about these bits. It's about the developer putting something out there. And it's about the idea of where do we take joy from now? Do we take joy from really difficult games that infuriate us and then laughing at the people as they fail? Which is how I watched it. I watched it as a YouTube video. There's a point in the game where it, it mocks people watching it as a YouTube video to watch someone being able to do it. Which is clever, so the fact that they anticipated that's the way it's The narration out. is the clever bit. and But that's as far as it goes. The actual mechanics of the game and the it's rest of the game. Fine. It's a laugh. It's not... But that's it. Yeah, it's, no. it's that not is it. like an in-depth no. 
spent you know a year and a half making this this passion project it's yeah. just a bit it's of fun. not a passion project it's a bit of fun no it's it's more of a a social commentary yeah than a passion yeah. project yeah. and i think the narration probably is the bit that's the longest and it's the bit i like the most about yeah. the game definitely definitely um whereas you didn't like it did you I played half an hour of the game and I just did not like no, it. No, the commentary. I, I, can't, no, I fucking found it so annoying. It was just... The guy's voice was so irritating. <laughs> Do you really like his voice? No. I think it's fine. I though. thought it was great. Yeah. Was, I found I think it, he does like, it quite well. I found, no, I don't, know if this is because, <laughs> I don't know if this is because I was in it as in playing the game, but I found him very patronising. And I think... That's the point. But, that's yeah, but, the but, beauty but, of it. I, yeah... So if I was he, young, he sounds so gentle. gentle. That, you know, I, I, he's yeah. so calm. To me, it and felt everything like... everything he's talking about, he's you know you've got that kid. It's very much a case of, and this is sometimes what happens. It's inspirational yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. You know you've got that kid in year 11 who thinks they're way better at drama than they actually are. <laughs> yeah. It reminded... <laughs> Hang on, you looked at camera there. When you were a drama student. <laughs> it reminded me... I do know. <laughs> that kid, this Bennett Foddy, was that kid at school. He was that <laughs> arrogant arsehole who was like... Oh yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry, Benny. If you're drama, this. <laughs> drama. Yeah, I'm re- I'm really good at drama, and it, that's what it gave. I was like, this sounds like a year eleven has written this narration and voiced it, and it just sounds like they just they think. Oh, that's, okay. that's I think what it's I actually far cleverer than a year eleven thing because mm. of what they're doing. I think that I think they think it's cleverer than it is. No, it really is cleverer than you think it is. I don't know. What he's saying and what he's doing and how he's doing it isn't just a case of him saying motivational things or saying things. Okay, so it's purposeful best, put there to annoy you. Best game narrative 2018. Do you put getting over it in there? There's no narrative. I, there's no narrative. Oh, it's, right. it's not telling a story. Best voiceover. Yeah, possibly. I'd put no it in chance. there. Yeah, because of what he's saying and how he's doing it. The uh, reason. Uh, no, it's, like, it's like Bennett thought he's here now. You see the rage he induces. It's purposeful. The the point of what yeah, he's saying and how he does it purpose. is no, to make the, in, rage. So the game, and this is one of my biggest issues with the game, and it being in this fucking list, because I'm getting angry now, is the <laughs> and fact that's that all from the voice. Which it's a proves that, the oh, fucking no, 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 it's not the voice. I was about to say, voice. Bennett Foddy, it, this is his dream watching. Yeah. No, this is 100% it's not the what voice. he wants from it's you. It's the fact that like, if you're going to make a game based on one sole mechanic, which is your pick axes are way up the hill. Yeah? Okay. That's the only mechanic in the game. Yeah. That's game the only play. mechanic you see in the game. No, no. Yeah. Gameplay mechanic is the only way you can get up. You can't jump or anything. The only way you can get up is getting yeah, your yeah. pick. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's too inconsistent. One yeah. time I go on a thing, it will just slip out and I'm like, there's ha- like... Ooh. Okay. This sounds I like have, this is, error. No, this is why I played it. I haven't it. played it. This is why I played it. But having watched speedrunners play it, I know it's not inconsistent. So I, because they have planned, they know exactly where to place themselves. You can watch them yeah, place no, themselves. There are certain things, perfect, which actually means that the mechanics are solid. But there's other times when the picks, for example, there's a, at the very beginning, there's an ore sticking out, and the pickaxe goes on it. Now, one time the pickaxe went in the middle. Physically, the weight of it will mean that I won't fall down. It goes on the middle. Uh, I go to go up, and it goes. Whoa. Jump over here and I'm like, on, is there on. a gust of wind or You're something? talking You're about physic problems where you can lift yourself inside a bowl with the end of a pickaxe on a rock. I think yeah. what you're sorry, doing is, physics is you're, wise, you're pushing that's the mouse not in. I think, I think that's the I'm not, error. No, I'm I not think you're going like in. this and pushing it in and you're pushing yourself away. What it is, it's just a shit game. <laughs> right, I Christ. don't think it's a shit game, but I don't think it deserves to be on the no, list I'm of the best games of yeah. indie. I'm not angry And I do think the voiceover in that lot is incredibly clever and I think it's very well done because it causes this. And that is the point of it. That's what he's trying to do. Without ever... He's, he's showing that you don't... To make people rage, you don't faces. have to say ragey things. You don't I reckon if Dan played Life shit. is Strange before the Storm, he'd give it a 10 out of 10 at the moment. No, I'll no, wouldn't. He'd give it a 1 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. There's only one person in this room who's really fucking beasty when it comes to ripping <laughs> games apart, and that is me. Tom's pretty bad. Little shit. Me and Tom... I think I'm fairly yeah. critical, but I don't think I'm, like, hard. He's not, he's not at my level. He dreams of being... I, I aspire to be as, 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 as mean as that. Okay. <laughs> as always, um, we are going to... So if you're watching on Patreon, there won't be an ad break now. You'll just go to a dark screen, you'll come back, and Sweet. we'll be here. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, there's not always an ad, because uh, because we swear, they go limited ads, so sometimes I don't put ads in. <laughs> yeah. So if you're lucky, we uh, you might not get an ad yeah, break. But just go on. we're going to stop now for a potential ad break, and we'll see you after the break.
What's up and welcome back to the Indie Credible Podcast, our final section uh, where we either talk about a main topic that we've come up with, uh, something that is trending at the moment, or um, what we love to do the most is go through some you or not user feedback, listener feedback. Um, and now we've got a listener who's... We have a listener, guys. Yes, yeah. Brian One listener. <laughs> and, and this time it's not um, just Brian. No, it's so. not. It's a guy called Tristan, who I'm going to go through his email in a minute. Now, that's if, you, <laughs> if you guys, uh, if you guys want to get in touch with us, if you're thinking, oh, I love these guys to talk about something Which at I'm the end sure of the show, do, obviously. Um, obviously, ideally indie game related, we do do the not so indie show. Which the first episode is actually going to be released next week for patrons, and then in two weeks time, released next week, we haven't for, even done yeah. it. <laughs> no, but we're filming next week, and we release next week. We're filming oh, next okay, week. Right, okay. So release next week for patrons, or it'll be released in two weeks time for everybody else, because you get a week early access patron, three dollars. Thank you very much. Nice. Um and that's where if you have a topic for a bigger um a triple A game or anything in gaming, that's where we'll cover that. This is where we like to keep it to indie games. Uh, although this one's not directly indie game uh related, it is kind of it links into indie games. Okay. Um so I without further, play indie games without further ado, we're gonna about. go on to Tristan's email. So Tristan says cool. Tristan. Hi, Indiecredible team. I'm starting. I start. Hi. I feel like we oh, should mate. respond. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I started to listen to you guys late last year, around November. Around. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to start again. <laughs> I'm going to start I'm again. Sorry, Tristan. Yeah. Fucking I'm sorry that he's reading every it. Every step of the way. Okay. <laughs> I started listening to you guys. Uh, oh. Fucking hell. Dan, you read it. Oh my god. You got it, go on, you do it. Hi, <laughs> Indie Credible team. I started listening to you guys last year around November time and enjoy the weekly helping of indie games news you bring. I was lucky enough to get a Switch for Christmas, thanks to my wife, and at first was blown away by the amount of games on offer, especially indies. <laughs> Do you notice how easily I'm doing this? Yeah. yeah. First read for I've never read this before. Yeah. Okay. I think just sit here. However, the more time I spend. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, cheers mate I can't deal with it <laughs> however the more time I spent with the console the more I noticed just how far it is behind its competitors the PS4 and Xbox One mostly when it comes down to the console's features online play and UI my question or questions are does the Switch need more features like YouTube or even Twitch does it matter that you cannot play with friends without using a phone when the online launches does it need to have trophies or achievements Apologies for the long email, but I'm really interested in hearing your thoughts on these. As, let's be honest, you guys say it as it is. Especially Dad. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that that is very true. Great job on the film podcast last week. I can't guarantee I'll have time to always watch the film version, but it's nice having the option. Tristan from somewhere. (laughs) I know (laughs) not giving a location annoys Lewis. (laughs) Good work, Tristan. It does annoy me that you haven't given a location. Do you want to open up because no. you need to okay. say the questions again? Okay, so, good point. Basically, yeah. it's a switch shit. I think the, it's questions the questions are, so... We're no, going, sorry, that's no, it's not saying. at all. Is I'm, it behind... I do on, agree on, with yeah, him that I do think... Consoles. I do think... Don't get me wrong. Yes. Don't get me wrong. The Switch is groundbreaking in terms of... The PS Vita had two punts at making handheld gaming as big as it could have been. And it just... It was so close to doing it. Mm. It just missed on some... For some reason, it just missed, Okay. The Switch has come along and it has made. I can't. I call it for me. It's a handheld console. For you, it's a handheld console. Yeah, correct? yeah, definitely. Yeah, the it, idea is it's both, but yeah. it really is handheld. Um, That's where its strength is. I'm including the name, really, Switch. Uh, but anyway, I do agree a lot of what he said, and he wants to know. So we'll go through a question. Let's at do the, time. the question. At the question time. one was: Does the Switch need more features like YouTube or even Twitch? No. <laughs> I no, because it can't handle them. I, yeah, yeah. Good, it's the basic one. In my eyes, it can't handle it them. It definitely needs them. It definitely needs YouTube, I and it can so. handle YouTube because my phone can handle YouTube. For, for me, I, I feel like uh, sorry. I'm, the I'm, answer for a lot of these questions is going to be: it doesn't need it. No, it'd be nice. No, I'm, I'm, be nice. Thinking, I'm thinking you're spending as so at the moment. It's yeah. priced more than a, a OG PlayStation, like than, than a PlayStation not Pro. If that makes sense. It's I'm more right, expensive. Yeah. PS4, yeah, PS4. PS4 yeah. Sorry, yeah. I was like, fucking hell, how much you yeah. pay for an original <laughs> PlayStation? Sorry. <laughs> it's 10 quid at best, mate. What are you Sorry. doing? PS4. Um, and a PS4, you've got the ability to. Now. It's a multimedia system. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But it's. It, um, not it is a games console, but it's it's PlayStation. It's, right. You know, well, let's go back to what you just said about the PS Vita, because the PS Vita can do YouTube. Ooh, straight away. Yeah, but I like it really can. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I never so, watch you on YouTube. I never watch YouTube on it. You don't have a PS Vita. I do. 
Do you? Yeah. You never play it. I've no, never I've played I, it. I had no idea. As you someone this. who is big into his RPGs and his Final yeah. Fantasy, so you never ever play and it. you don't play your I've, Vita. I've played Persona Four in it, and I've played a couple. Of, I'm astonished. Okay, that you even so have let, let's, let's. I've got Lego let's... Star Wars Force. Oh, nice. Wars 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 Wars. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but anyway, so if we're going to compare the two then the PS Vita already has these functionalities. And the reason PS Vita failed was because it was never supported properly by Sony. It was never that it didn't have yeah. the proper games. Agreed, completely agreed. it fully did. It has some it's absolutely I, fucking amazing games. I'd buy one games. now, to be honest. I Especially would. if you're able to get them in from the Japanese and the Chinese market. If you're willing to get those games, you are in for an absolute and it joyous has got ride. PS1 Classic. I played through Silent Hill again on the Vita. Yeah. Oh, really? I mean, there's, there's, some, uh, there's a guy named Turks who uh, is online, find him online, he does PS Vita reviews, he's a really nice guy, um, and he basically just does everything out of Japan. And if you just watch his stuff, you're like, oh my god, I didn't realise these games are even out there. It's a, it's I mean, a, JRPG, it's it's a JRPG machine now. It's, it's, yeah, it's, like, that happens a lot with Sony, though. Their, their, their consoles live so much longer in Japan than they do yeah. here. And because they don't get the, the PS Vita so, PS so, so, so what, Japan. I'm not trying to push it on too much, but what... So what's your point then in raising that fact that Vita's got them and so, Switch hasn't? So it's, no, I should no. point out, Hulu is coming to Switch. That's been announced. Why? Who Why? cares about Hulu? Well, Americans, don't they? I don't know. They don't no, Americans don't care about Hulu. Right? <laughs> you're going to be Tristan. You're probably from America. So, Tristan, sorry, so. I've, I've got a lot of friends who are American. Um, so. I've got a couple cool. as well. <laughs> so, but, no, my point is, I misunderstood what he meant by having YouTube and Twitch on there. What I thought was meant by having YouTube and Twitch on there was the able to stream. The ability to stream. Oh, no, no. I think meant right? by watching. If it's just to watch, then no, there is no point on having it there. So I think... Right. I think Because you have a, your phone. It's true, but I think as a multi... As a... Games consoles aren't just games consoles anymore. Yeah, their main job is to play games, but... And that if was you're... the biggest failure of the Xbox when it launched. Exactly. When Xbox no, yeah. launched, they went out there and, look, we are the home no, no. hub, and no one the wanted failure, that. We don't want I don't that. Think it's we want games no, machines. Games consoles be more I don't think the failure else. of the Xbox was the feature offer. The failure of the Xbox was the marketing around its launch. Which was because all about switch, multimedia. Yeah. Because it had, no, no. Its failure was about going, I am a multimedia machine. But and that's where it failed. Its whole marketing stood there and said, we are about you being able to get hold of, yeah. you were going to control your TV, your Sky, your NFL let, football, all of this. Sort. And we went, we want a games and machine. Let, and so many stood out and went for the players. Well, games so let's, machine. Let's, say, yeah. what, let's say, what if a parent come to, uh, is talking to a kid and the kid's like, I really want the Switch. Okay, cool. You want a Switch? They get a Switch and they go, okay, I really want the PlayStation. What do you want the PlayStation? Oh, because I can, I can play my, oh, we'll come to the next question later, but we can, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we can, um, I can watch YouTube on it. I can stream straight away from my, my console on it and all that. And she goes, well, you switch. I can't do it on the switch. What do you do on the switch? I just play games on the switch. But you can. No, you do can... those things by docking it. Uh, docking it and then having a PC that runs it powerful enough to run it. My shitty Mac will allow me to stream my switch. Yeah. You don't need a powerful machine to stream from a machine that's already running the game. Your only problems with streaming comes from when your computer is having to run that game as well. So there's a new streaming service called Caffeine. Have you heard of Caffeine? No, because it's another one of these fly-by-night no. streaming services uh, that go, we're going to beat Twitch, and then go, oh shit, we're no, not. No, I don't. Mirablog TV. I think we can actually... <laughs> yeah. I just sort of got a flashback to I think, TV. <laughs> I honestly think... Uh, People should probably keep an eye out for caffeine. I think there's caffeine. Basically, are... I think people should keep an eye out for caffeine, but not <laughs> <laughs> caffeine. Not only things you're streaming service. Caffeine are really unique in two uh, two aspects. One is the fact that they are very strict on their community and they are very much family orientated. Anyone and straight away there's a failure. So anyone next fuck around <laughs> yeah. and they're booted off. And secondly, they are. Very seamless streaming. I streamed. I, I didn't okay. mean to. Okay. No, Directly no, no, from a mobile phone. You. I literally went When you were 15 went... years old, let's go back to you being 15. Yep. Did you watch Predator or did you watch Care Bears the movie? <laughs> I watch Predator. Yeah, because when you're 15 years old, you want to watch someone go, fuck you, asshole, I'm coming for you. Yeah. Shit, look at my guns. I'm coming. And that's, so if caffeine <laughs> is making it, 
Yeah, no, they can. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm like a sexual tyrannosaurus. <laughs> I mean, to take it back into predator. We'll make it family, family friendly. Caffeine I think makes it family obviously friendly. Obviously, you can have... Little uh, kids want to watch people swear. Yeah. Trust me, I work oh. in a primary school. I don't think you And they work around and go, oh my God, you see this guy? He saw a yeah. dead guy and went, oh, fuck yeah. I've and never went, sweared more than when I was 15. No, yeah. but I don't know. But I'm, what I'm saying is I don't think they're going to boot people for swearing. But I mean, like in terms of what... If you're, gonna, if you're going to say cameras, if, if you're like, going to say you're a family friendly site you then can't. you need to be I think the words are community friendly but from what I'm reading into I'm sorry but, but um, did you see how many hits Logan Paul got for his he's watching doing someone better die now he's doing better now than he, than he did before yeah. Yeah. the whole um, thing is about I do think don't want really yeah. community I do think a service and the reason I say caffeine is because they're the best they're the only ones I've seen that are literally from your mobile one touch you're streaming. Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, game streaming like on my phone. Facebook. Screen capture of game streaming. S- streaming. Screaming. So <laughs> basically, Who's for example, streaming mobile games. No, so, so no, for, for example, <laughs> stream Such game. Plans. Wow. What was that stream? As an example, yeah. <laughs> streaming. So caffeine, I can stream. Yeah. And then I can talk, and the microphone has it all come here. The chat goes across the top, so I can be playing a mobile game while I, chat. I know it's not ideal. It sounds I don't very. Do it. it sounds. But I'm saying there's interesting. Twitch don't do, doesn't do that, and neither does Mixer. Not directly from your mobile. I think it, it could so possibly... So if it can go from my mobile, yeah. why can't it go from my, my Switch? The Switch has got a microphone in there. Why? Or Because even... the Switch can't even do fucking chat. Yeah. The Switch, Which, okay. For fuck's sake. Should we take it on to our, should we take it on to our next question? So, quick quick round up then. Do we... So you think, like, no, it doesn't need the features? Like, YouTube or... I don't, not or... necessarily. I think it'd be nice to have them, but I don't think it needs I, them I to don't be think it needs I would them. like to see them on there, if I'm going to okay. say that, just to be awkward. Yep. Cool. Uh, okay. Point two then. Does it matter that you cannot play with friends without using a mobile phone? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Every single one of us at this table thinks that's a fucking joke. That is the I biggest failure of the doing Switch. It. That is the hugest failure. My more concern at the moment, in all honesty at the moment, I don't give a shit because it's free. You say that. You came to me P- after PS3 playing was Splatoon free. 2. Oh, and it's went, annoying. And you fucking raged at me. You think I rage on I these raged. You should have heard Lewis talk <laughs> about raged. not being able to chat people without using a so fucking the re- phone. So the game. reason I raged got changed. Because I raged at first because the matchmaking in there... The, well, there was a mode where you had to basically... It required you to talk. There's like a horde mode. And if you wasn't talking to people, it was fucking all over the place. They then updated it by having a like an emote system. So you could basically communicate in game with good emotes. No. It wasn't good enough, but it was a damn sight better than what it used to be. So it kind of got around it. The thing is, you can say it's free, but the PS3 had free online yeah. play. Yeah, and yeah. that had a fully supported, you know. Oh, I'm, no. I'm terribly sorry, sorry as well. I completely agree. It's, 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 it's ridiculous. Completely agree. But we're talking about... Splatoon is in Journey. You know, no, you, no, can't, no. You, you can't be going... <laughs> So we're, we're talking. You want to talk? It's a strategic. When they come around, so let's say game. people are. I mean, the the mini directors just happened, and everyone's going mad about uh, Dark Souls being remastered on Switch. Which like. is cool. It's, it's cool, cool yeah. but people are also picking up with the fact that on Nintendo are doing these directs and releasing this because they're still going. Well, where the fuck's Virtual Console? Where the fuck is all this stuff that is you're so good for, and it's not going. They've delayed their online service. So when it comes around to them going, okay, Dan, you now need to pay us. You want to play this game online. You need to pay us 20 quid. For the year. That's good. That's what you've got to remember. They're yeah. saying it's 20 Which quid. Which makes sense to for make the it cheaper. Year. Because we obviously we have the... I mean, that's, so only a down fir- that's, that's two thirds that's cheaper nice. than PlayStation and Xbox. But PlayStation yeah. and Xbox is a... I've got... YouTube. I've got. It's a better service. I've got all the internet service. It's a all fucking I'm, switch. What do you want from a handheld, man? All I'm doing is I want to play you online. I have to type in a 126 character long fucking reference note number <laughs> yeah. just to go and play with you. That okay. Is dumb. That, no, that's, no, that's no, now, now I'm really that's confused. You started off arguing the point that the switch was that you it was good. That it was good you for were, multiplayer. You were on the positive side. And now you've come. At, oh no, sorry. I you thought flip-flopped. you flip flopped there. Big I'm, time. No, I'm I'm happy as in that there's. Most play like Mario Kart. I don't need to speak to someone. That doesn't. That, well, yeah, that's a single player game. That's, um, but, unless you're online. Like, you're shit. You fucking. But even if I'm, shit, if I'm online fine. against you playing Mario Kart, I don't need to talk about that. But if the Switch I'm wants usually to be in the same room, <laughs> so, <laughs> if the Switch wants to be that's serious about play, bringing yeah, yeah, competitive yeah. or gaming or games across to that platform, then it needs to have the ability to seamlessly talk with another friend. Without using a fucking stupid mobile phone and some stupid fucking adapter. Okay, I think we're looking at two different markets there then. Because we have the competitive market, so mm-hmm. you're looking at competitive gaming, right. which is never going to be a handheld gaming system. And then you have 
Nintendo's handheld gaming system, where they've introduced a game that is supposed to be competitive, but will never you really make it as a competitive That's game. They sell it. The, the, the Switch no. is sold. To us, it's not. It's marketed as a home console that can be taken on the go. Of course it is. It, yeah, it was, to be fair. That's, that's, but you that's, know that's a home console. Out. You're yeah, talking about a home console that doesn't have You know why they track. sold it like that? They because sold it like that because... The Wii U was a debacle. They want to shit on the DS. Parents <laughs> will not buy a handheld for 300 quid. Okay, you know, yes, good yeah. point. The reason yeah. you have to sell it as a home console is so that parents can go, oh, okay, if it's a home console, yeah. able, then it must be worth that amount. If I said, oh, I've got a Game Boy here, it's 280 <laughs> quid, you're going to go, fuck off, Dan. Yeah. But if I go, oh, it's a Game Boy and a home console, you're like, hang on, it can be on the go and plugged in at home? Mm. This is the ultimate console. So you're, it's a marketing scam. So you think it's scams, the wrong word. Sorry, it's a marketing scheme. Although it's, Boy. So you Boy, think, yeah. although it's not ideal, but although it's a pain in the ass, you can't directly talk to friends, you think it's fine that they're going to be charging... I know you're saying it's only 20 quid. I have no problems with 20 quid a year because every month you are going to get at least one retro game and you're going to get other stuff and you're going to be able to play online and it's 20 quid. Which is more than you would have got back in the day. Yeah. Like, I mean, because that used to be that used to be the, the upscales thing. You'd be like, paying more money. Well, pay money, must be on PS3. Yeah. Pay any money at all is what you get for that. Yeah. And you get the online stuff for free. Mm. So I'm fine with paying 20 pounds a year, year. A year. I have to, no to get that stuff and yeah, play that, yeah, that would be That's fine. for a year as in yeah. a guarantee which is year fuck all they're paying like 60, 70 quid can play station uh, 50, now, uh, that 50 like, quid play station what am I, what am I getting more than Nintendo are going to give me the I ability getting, to stream direct from your console I can stream from my console using a computer that is 10 years old yeah I'm a saying a better, a better I'm saying Tom do you have a, voice do you have a desktop or a laptop that can stream I don't have anything at okay. the moment. Okay. Do, do you have a PS4 that you can stream from? Yeah. There you go. But that, that's different. You are talking about a machine that is purposefully built not to go anywhere, but to sit in one place, and one that is made to be a handheld. They are different slight, functioning things. Slight digression, then. Slight digression. <laughs> All we do is digress. That's do you the, think the, the in the Switch's lifespan, yeah. they will release a dock that is a beefed up, you can stream, you can do this, you can do that, no. but it has to be plugged into this dock. No. And do you know why? Because Nintendo don't make any money from it. It's uh, the same reason Nintendo don't allow you to have their stuff on YouTube. They do not want you sharing this because they do not make money from it. And if you are critical about it, then they are going to make less money because people yeah. won't buy. And the thing so is, no, they won't. I think the days of, oh, buy this and you can put it on your console and make it better are far gone. It okay. doesn't happen anymore. You get a new console. Peripherals instead. are pretty. Yeah, I mean, obviously, with the N64, you had like weird CD, no, no. CD shit. The best shit one, that, the best you? one, is the Sega Mega Drive with Sega CD. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sega 32, CD, yeah, thirty-two X, which is plugged into the top. But the best thing about that one was you could plug two thirty-two Xs together <laughs> to make a sixty-four X, <laughs> which did fuck? nothing. <laughs> it did nothing, but, but it was still fucking amazing. Is that not a long gone era of gaming? Because now you have instead you have the PS4 Pro. Yeah. You have the Xbox One yeah. X, you know? Because they've gone down the Apple route where Apple well, don't be, want you to be able to go into I the back of it. It's very much they the want Apple it route, to be yeah. very I much guarantee. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me finish. <laughs> right? You could talk over later, but um, <laughs> the, like, the app, what Apple did was they closed off the back of their machine so no one could add new stuff yeah. to it. Yeah. Because that way you had to buy everything again. And yeah. this is the general... Which is, is why, why fuck in. Apple. Because <laughs> they've ruined everything. <laughs> But that's what we've moved into now. Definitely, the Xbox, yeah. you can't add more memory to it. You can with a USB drive on the back, but it's a secondary drive, which doesn't run as well as the internal drive. Mm. And that's what they've done with the whole thing. You always have to upgrade, and they've closed everything off. It's closed yeah. systems, closed networks. It's not made for the game. So if this was going to happen, it would be a new Nintendo Switch. Yeah. It I do guarantee in the next two or three years, we'll see, I don't know what we call the Switch Plus, the Switch Extra, which Probably will be a bigger screen. It'll, it'll be a bigger screen on it. Not massively. It'll be like one or two inches bigger screen. It will be slightly, I don't know, it will, it will have something slightly different to it. But it'll be a case right. of you can spend an extra Switch 100 XL. quid. Yeah, you can get 100 because they do it with the 3DS. Like, they, already, they already do they, that. Yeah, you yeah. get extra 100 quid and you get a bigger screen. You get, But it won't change the performance of it. Like The, the 3DS XL and the 3DS, the, there is, I think the one had a better processor in it. But other than that, it wasn't really much different much apart from the bigger yeah. screen. You know what? I, I mean, I think you're right. I think you're absolutely right. We're definitely going to see that. But I would 
I'd put money on that we're going to see a Nintendo streaming service. Oh. Crash and, and with, burn. With the difference being... with the difference <laughs> Here's a Nintendo being, streaming service six months later. <laughs> uh, Nintendo's closing the door on their streaming service. Yeah, it may do. Not but surprised. I think what we'll see is we'll see some big YouTubers, Markiplier, uh, Jacksepticeye, yeah, that yeah, lot, yeah, yeah, they're the big guys, be yeah. on these playing Nintendo games talking about how great they are. And Nintendo will allow... they're on, paid by Nintendo. Oh, full on. Full on, definitely paid. Because of the amount of money that these people are making now and the amount of money that YouTube generates. Now, if Nintendo can get a part of that market and see a revenue from it, yeah. I would see not Twitch, not YouTube. Nintendo not... TV. Didn't, wasn't there Nintendo yeah. TV already? There on was the, a Sega TV, but that was the, on the bit Wii. you put in the back in the Game Gear with the two on the antenna. Wii. <laughs> wasn't there a Wii? Never heard of this. Oh, well, it was before you were born, mate. <laughs> Which is really sad. <laughs> on the, on the Wii, I'm sure Sega. on the Wii. Was it not on... Sega Game Gear? Had before a, I was born. Before you were born, <laughs> yeah. Was there not a Nintendo TV or something on the Wii? Am I making that up? No, there was a Nintendo TV. Wait. The, but it was the same thing as the sort of Game Gear bit where you yeah. plugged it in the antenna. Did and the Wii the have like iPlayer and all that? Yeah. Yes, uh, it did. Yeah, it did. So that's actually kind oh, of weird. Oh, uh, no, I don't know. Did it have iPlayer? Yes, yeah, it, it did. I think it did. Uh, it but, did, but, and so YouTube. So that has streaming services. And YouTube. YouTube. So that's actually quite weird when you think about it. The, the Wii, a uh, piece of shit... Had, uh, I loved my Wii. Look, Wii Sports oh, was just the fun. best no, no, no. thing to say. Wii Sports no, was good. Wii, Wii, I only wanted to say I loved my Wii. Right. It was nothing to do with the Wii. I just liked I, Wii. I liked the Wii. <laughs> I stand by the Wii. I think Wii's a good I console. Won't because I think Wii U. Mm. Wii. Yeah, the Wii U is just like another Wii. It's... The Wii U was the in-between phase between the Switch and the Wii. It was a mistake. I think it, it was a marketing existed. issue again. They were like, I don't know. Is, no, it, I think it was a is it a tablet? Is it a console? Can I go on the go of it? Well, you can, but you can't really light your front room or you <laughs> yeah, lose connection. Yeah. There's like, definitely an evolution there from yeah. the Wii to the Switch. Yeah. Oh, massively, yeah. I think the, the Wii is a piece of shit. Should we dive into the last question? Okay, last question. Yeah, come on, Tristan, what you got for me? Uh, yeah, Tristan's last question uh, takes us into when the online launches, does it need or does the Switch need to have a trophy or achievement system? Now, okay. My problem with this is the word need. Okay. So there you go. <laughs> That's my exact issue yeah, as well. You, Absolutely not, it doesn't need you've it. You've banged on it. It doesn't need it at all. Would it benefit? Do, do I want it? No. Hell yeah. I do. I do. See, this is the, I feel like I'm in the minority these days. It never used to be the case. Yeah. But, but nowadays, I don't think trophies or achievements are... I don't give a shit. Okay? They're, they're, I get the purpose and I get the replay, replayability from them. But I just don't care. I get them as I play, and I'm like, I played the game, don't care about trophies. The bit I really like about trophies and about achievements and all that lot is you, is the hidden, well, not the hidden trophies, is the trophies they go, have you done this a certain amount of times? Yeah. Have you killed it with this one? Because it makes me go back and try it. Yeah. Because it hadn't been something I thought about. Or when they say, have you found these secrets? And I'm like, oh, I didn't even realise yeah. there were secrets. And going back and just... Trying these, that's that's the reason. It's, that's the thing, because everyone I know loves them. And I, I get it, but I, I sort of enjoy it more if I get them I'm just a, through playing naturally. I'm a sucker. Oh, okay. So what I'll do is I'll play a game first time for an hour, two hours, three yeah. hours, whatever. Then before I go off, every time I play a new game, I'll go through the trophy list and I'll see exactly what the trophies are. Most of it, obviously, I do it now because I didn't used to do it because... Before they used to question mark them, they used to be story, story spoilers in the trophies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But now they, yeah, yeah, yeah. now they question mark them. They, um, I know I'm not going to get any story, story yeah. spoilt, but I go through to see like um, Uncharted's like kill 30 people with a pistol, kill 30 people. So I know then to keep changing weapons because I like my trophy score. I like trying to bolster my trophy score. I like improving it and I am a bit of a sucker for going... Whereas I like trying to play a game in a different way. So like with the pistol one, I right. would barely use a pistol. Yeah. And then it's in there, it's like, you know what, I'll give that a try. And it gives me a whole new gameplay experience yeah. that I wouldn't have tried because I'm quite a lazy gamer. So I, we I, are... I like it more as a reflection so have you... of how I played the game. So, oh, okay. so, so I, I played the game and I look at it and it's like get 50 kills on an AK-47 I'd be like wow I, you really used the AK-47 there and it's, yeah. it's, I, I like seeing that more than you, like um, going for it because I could do it if I wanted to have you seen but, okay, I, but yeah. it doesn't seem worth have it have you seen or heard about Xbox's new update uh, which I one Give me some so they got about new... their loot boxes no. for their avatars uh, is that a yeah, real thing yes but oh. have you heard about how the loot boxes are unlocked through cash no <laughs> yeah the unlocking of, of achievements yeah 
That's how they're unlocked. That's and very, cash. That's very Xbox. Unlocked I would put money on, I would, which sounds hilarious after me complaining about cash, I would put money on that you can buy loot oh, Of course you can. Well. But I mean, it's yeah. for, and that's the real reason. But it's for your avatar. You're, you're trying to talk to this person here. The person who spent seven quid so my avatar can have a remote control helicopter. Like, so, <laughs> you've got nothing to say. To, like Again, though, but I don't, uh, I don't mind <laughs> loot boxes on that because I don't ever look at it and go, oh my God, that avatar looks like I want to... Like your avatar makes no difference to you. If you want your avatar to look cool and go and spend a hundred quid on loot boxes, that's completely your provocative, your decision. Yeah. Do what you want. Prerogative. It doesn't prerogative, not provocative. I know what you're saying. I don't yeah. <laughs> um, no, that means I can so have don't, a drink. Cheers, Brian. <laughs> so don't. Oh. Um, yeah. So that, 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 I have no issue with that. But in coming back to where the question was, Nintendo. Mm. I would love to see some because Nintendo do these amazing amiibos, which are DLC. I don't care what anyone says. Um, yes, I would love to see Nintendo implement some thing where they do like a stars thing. Or by doing this, you get some of that stuff, and then the stars go towards you unlocking. I don't know, like UI backgrounds for your thing, you know, like Mario. Because they are what Nintendo do so well in their games, and I only really appreciate this recently, or remembered it recently by playing from Mario. Was there just little tiny attention to detail is incredible. Yeah. Apart from when it comes to the UI, <laughs> apart from when it comes to the usability of the fucking Switch. I've got it. Like, I've... it is shocking how bad the UI is and how bad, is it bad? it's yes. just so basic. You it's scroll basic. through games and you go to the store and that is only a new section. It's basic bad and, though. And the, when it's not done well, yes. Right. Okay. Which is what the Switch is, and even the store isn't fun to move the UI through. is not far off what it was on the original DS and we're talking a console now that's like 14 years old it has almost evolved no way at all and right. that's that's not a good thing I know people, I know people, if they hit the I nail know, on the head and then we're I know able people to say, oh, it PlayStation it. hasn't changed from the original PS3 you could argue PS3 that, has got a fucking great UI but then that I UI the I don't like the UI for PS4 Do you know PS4 is worse it? right but it, I, I like that it does sort of carry on the I idea. like but if I was to scale them Xbox PS4 I'd definitely go more PS4 my favourite UI all, is PS3 PS3 has the best UI of any console no way you're mental are you serious what's the best UI Xbox 360 Blades <laughs> oh my god yes no I did I really enjoyed to be the fair, Blades the 360 Blades, Blades mate 60, are absolutely but... key that they were the turning point for UI evolution were they yeah <laughs> right because Xbox no because Xbox come out before Playstation and they set By the president year, off the yeah, scrolling right, okay. and then Playstation probably had some absolute debacle of UI and went those blades are amazing how do we make it our own absolutely not I don't think so <laughs> I think they clearly had that in the bag for a long time <laughs> <laughs> this is a fanboy debate comment but, um, below actually comment below I don't, I don't consider myself PS... a fanboy but that PS3 UI it still looks good when you, if you Man, the blades the, look built PS3, so good build PS3 now and they didn't even change it because it's so good right the, no I've, I've and got it's, and I've, it's like, I've, that looks I good. own all of these consoles of course yeah and I will say the PS3 it's great. Has a great UI. Yeah. Blades, but simple, the, elegant. PS3. Yes, Vote but, now. But I want to know who the what people was, thinking. The problem was, I thought the blades were great, but unfortunately, how they they changed them. They? <laughs> they changed them. Yeah. They had this beautiful thing that worked so much yeah, better than the PS3. It's more and Microsoft went, "Oh, we're going to make it more like our um, computers," yeah. and then didn't even go close to the computer UI. They were until like, now. <laughs> so, until now, yeah. where they the finish marks are the same. Do. Oh, what was the question? Do switch the switch? <laughs> does switch remember. need trophies and achievements? So no. you say my problem is with it the word need. need. Let's go I around. would like them to have. Yeah. I would like them to have right. trophies and achievements, but does it need it? No. I completely agree. Doesn't need it, but it would be a very nice yeah. addition. I'd say no, and whatever. <laughs> They're fine. Oh my god. Do you want me to play my chemical okay. romance for you for a bit? It's <laughs> like a stubby a teenager, isn't it? A cheat, can you just, just put like, the uh, first few bits of a uh, okay, um, uh, Black Parade? And that, <laughs> that wraps up the Indie Credible Podcast episode 28 uh, for this week. Um, if you have watched to the end, it's a slightly longer one, but we really do appreciate it. Or if you listen to the end, then again, we really do appreciate it. But please do yeah. comment. I'd actually genuinely be interested to know whether oh, it, what was you the do best like UI, Blades yeah. or whether you like or if there's another it's UI that you free. like yeah, the then, best um, UI would the be best really UI you've experienced um, and if you say Xbox, if shit. you say Xbox One I am going to punch you in the ovaries even if you're <laughs> um, so so if, <laughs> I don't know why I went there but anyway I loved it 
Yeah, I'll if you're um, if you're <laughs> listening, obviously head over to YouTube, drop us a comment on that, or you can email in as I said, podcast at indiehighfromcredible dot com, and email in also a uh, topic. We'll cover it. Might you your email might feature next week, like Tristan's did this week. Yeah, who knows? We could end up doing way. half an hour. It was a good one, one Tristan. Thing. I like yeah. that. Good I like for that. Tristan. That was a nice long. Yeah. Had a few good few nice. And I hope you, uh, I hope you do enjoy your Switch more, and I. I hope these directs there are some towards... great games on the Switch. It may mm. not be great for online bit, but actually, indie one game games now. Are well, one game now. Just, just say one game for the Switch. What? That I absolutely love it. Just, just tell Tristan games. Mario play. Rabbids. Okay. I keep going back to it. I keep going back really? to it. I hated it for a while, and then I keep going <laughs> back the to thing. it. That's the thing. I thought I remember you. Uh, yeah, back on it. Tom, I was like, "This is shit," and then I'm back. Well, I'm playing a Switch game. Oh right, well, actually, on that, <laughs> on that, on that. Mario Rabbids is it strategy game of the year though? Nice. No. Absolutely did you see not. my, not even close. Not even did you see my tweet? I think we all pretty much tweeted what the fuck are they did, on? Did you see my tweet last night? No. I said uh, all I get is your Jags tweet. I said apologies, <laughs> uh, apologies, FIFA, Pez, and any other great sports game with Mario Aces or whatever it's called. Oh Mario Tennis Aces. Mario Tennis Aces Actually, coming out. Thinking it's about guaranteed it. to get sports game of the year. It does look damn good though. Not sports game of the year, but it does look damn good. Mate, it's gonna be sports game of the year. Yeah, it will be, it shouldn't be, but yeah, Nintendo money. That's, it, that's yeah. the Nintendo money that's out there. That cool. That's why I think they're going to have a streaming channel. That Nintendo money, there is so <laughs> much. Honest, well, they have got strategy game sound, of the year. It doesn't sound weird. <laughs> They've got game it of the year. Weird. No, it doesn't. They're it gonna doesn't have... sound out there. Well, <coughs> and can you imagine minute. being on it? The There's amount can... of views you get and the amount of money you get to make off a Nintendo We can uncover yeah. a conspiracy here. I just realised. Go on. Mario Kart didn't win racing game of the year. Have you been taking coke in the corner of the Mario Kart didn't win. Mario Kart didn't win racing game of the year. That is a conspiracy there. <gasps> and that's what we'll end this yeah. week's episode <laughs> of the yeah. Indie Credible um, no. Podcast. Anyway, sorry. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so, you. Uh, I was like something about whatever the shit we were talking yeah, about. So we Mario were doing Rabbids. Mario Rabbids. Rabbids and you yeah. say... <laughs> Stardew Valley. Oh, fuck. See... You know what? I enjoyed that for a little while and then I understood the mechanics of it and got really bored. And it's got multiplayer. So if you get Stardew Valley, anyone listening now get Stardew Valley, email in podcast.anyhighforgrable.com or comment below. I'll DM you and we will exchange multiplayer stuff because multiplayer is dropping soon and I want to see what your farm looks like because you can see what my probably 80 hours farm looks like now. Shameful. I think I put 20 hours over Christmas. Yeah. So much fun. I can't believe you're still playing that. Like I, like I commented on Tom last week with his droids robots things, yeah. I had sex. <laughs> um, so Tom, <laughs> recommend the game on the Switch. Oh, so many good games on the Switch. I'm not talking about there's uh, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, did, did, uh, on an extra, maybe we'll, how, should we say goodbye and then we'll talk about more about yeah, the yeah, Switch yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on, if cool. you're on Patreon, you're going to get to see more about the Switch, yeah. but the rest of you, it's been really One dollar nice. gives you it. One dollar. Uh, and and if, you, dollar. if you do like listening to these guys, pounds. if you do like listening <laughs> to these guys, then please um, head on to iTunes or any other streaming service that you use. Leave us a comment, leave us a like. It really helps us boost up the rankings. It helps us get out there. helps us grow, and we love growing with you in more ways than you know. And remember, follow us on Twitter. I'm doing this so he yeah, has to do more it editing. Here they are. It is. <laughs> Hopefully, and look, I'll... Brian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, on that. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being part of us. And until next week. Uh, That's a Brian. Goodbye. Did you see that? Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Just sort of lingering up there. Right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.